Hello, hello everyone. Can you hear me okay? Let me know if music is too loud or not. I'm turning it down, but maybe it just needs to be down in my headphones and it's wonderful for you guys. But hello, hello everyone. I need to bring my mic down a little bit. Welcome! Nightbot is back, yay! <laughs> I, uh, yes, I'm so glad that Nightbot is back from vacation. They, they took a vacation for a little too long. Um, <laughs> I figured out what it was. Literally, all it was is somehow, I guess, they updated Nightbot and it had to, I had to, like, reconnect it in my YouTube settings as a mod. Like, it disconnected all of that. And that's, that's what I had to do, so. That, uh, it was a simple fix, luckily, but I was just super confused because it didn't say, like, we're updating this, you'll have to re-log. Like, any, nothing like that, just... <laughs> oh, it stopped working? Cool, good luck figuring out what we did. Good luck, we won't tell you. <laughs> kind of silly. Kind of silly. I sound great? Okay, perfect. Glad the volumes are good. Let's see who we got in here. I got my, I made a, a chai tea. I added some vanilla extract and some raw sugar. So it's a little sweet chai. So that's what I was grabbing here. All right, scrolling up. We've got Encrypted, Lila. We've got Kusad, is that how you say it? Daisy, Lilo, Archie, Asada, Simi, Evelyn, Lors. We've got Drift. Coffee, we've got Notice, RJ, Blue Rose, Squid, scrolling down, Jamie, Tom, Lucas, Zach, Kim, Destiny, Tom, Almed, Tropical, Jun Woolly, is that how you pronounce it? Welcome in, Rika. Amy, hello, hello everyone. First time catching a stream. Well, welcome in to your first stream of Duro Red. Welcome, welcome. This is not gonna go well. <laughs> Tropical just right away. I'm pessimistic. I think we're gonna die. I, I do think we're gonna die too though, so I'm, I'm just teasing you. I think we all know it's very likely that I could die, but you know, I've got some, I've got some skills. We, we got some Minecraft skills. We could make it happen. Welcome in, Jazzy and Haley. I love you so much. Man. Ah, thank you so much, Jean. Making some cheesy carbonara ramen with some eggies. Oh, that sounds so tasty. Oh my gosh. I'm going to survive. Thank you. Alessandra, welcome in. You think it'll be okay? I'll be fine. You know, I appreciate that. I've never, guys, I've never been in modded nether. I've seen people... Like, I've watched other creators in their videos do it, and um, that's about it. So I am i don't know what to expect, but here we are. We are going into modded nether. <laughs> it's a good adventure, exactly. I think in my mind, this Better Minecraft long play series, the videos I make from it are all about the commentary long play kind of adventures where we're building but we're also adventuring and all of these streams, I just feel like we're just adventuring in better Minecraft. We're exploring, we're learning. It's a, it's a good time. Remember Castaways? Well, of course, Castaways was a great, a great SMP. It was such a fun short-term project, so fun. Modded Nether can get wild, but I think you can handle it. I appreciate the, the vote of confidence. The Blaze Tower. Oh my gosh, the blaze. Oh wait, yeah, I guess that was more modded. I guess, yes. I've been in modded nether, but in my head, we very lightly, from what I remember, we didn't like super mod out the nether. I feel like in better Minecraft, they do all of the things. The better nether, the better end, like everything is just <laughs> next level. So that is true. Castaways did have some mods in the nether because we had the Blaze King that we fought. Um, but I feel like this is next level. <laughs> I'll send a pic in the server of what the Nom Noms look like. Ooh, yes, Jazzy, we love pictures of food. Put that in the show and tell. Show us and tell us about the foods. Love it. But uh, what are you guys up to as you watch me struggle to survive tonight? <laughs> 
Oh, goodness. So it's gonna be a good time. It's Daisy's first live too. I'm kind of scrolling back up to see what people are saying. I just watched your most recent video. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Squid. I appreciate it. But glad the sounds are good. And okay, yeah, it'll be good. Suspicious Sev. Sev was always so suspicious. It was great. Drift was so chaotic in Castaways. My most chaotic moment was with Drift with that Enderman. That Drift looked at the Enderman, and then it turned out it was like a mutated Enderman that would float in the air and had like a boss bar. It was, it was chaotic. It was hilarious. Me and her were dying of laughter. But in the moment, we were so confused and just like, what do we do? We have no idea. You have a stomach bug? Oh no, Squid, I hope your stomach bug goes away. Stomach stuff is always the worst, so I hope it starts to get better. You're playing Genshin farming to level up your Yanfi. Ooh, very nice, Sada. I've never played Genshin, but I know people are super into it. So I don't know what leveling up a, a Yanfi is, or even if I'm saying it right, but I hope it's a wonderful time. You're crawling back to drawing after feeling your back is well enough. You know, fair enough. I feel like sometimes you just need a break, you know, just to kind of reset. Okay, I need to figure out where I am. I need to look down. I was taking screenshots. I recorded the full long play video for Thursday today, so I need to make sure I don't um, spoil anything. But I will say there's something next to our house. That is your little peak. Your peak of sneak. And then we, we look at the floors. <laughs> we look at the grass and the dirt. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna put away all of our stuff first. Daisy's playing some Minecraft, lovely. Welcome in Gabriella. You are not late at all. We were just chatting for the last little bit. I, I found a geode. Uh, in the long play, so we, we have geode things. We've got geodey things. Okay, we're just letting our inventory kind of get cleared out. And then we have to go look for obsidian because I don't think I have enough anymore. I think I moved it. Um, I don't remember why. Oh, I used obsidian to make another uh, Another waystone so that I have two. Also, guys, this is the one thing. Okay, so this is this is the one thing you'll get that I crafted in the long play. Okay, this is the one little uh little spoiler thing that I thought was hilarious. So if you type in flower, there's a flower headwear. And if you click on it, Look at how pretty these options for a flower crown are. Wow, you can make so many pretty flower crowns. Look at all these beautiful flowers that you can make into a flower crown. It's so beautiful. Yeah, you know what this thing looks like? Freaking this. That's the flower crown. <laughs> It's cute, but I, I was expecting like, I could kind of customize it, modify the colors, depending on what, what flowers I choose to make it with. Yeah, I was a, a little disappointed. It is it's kind of funny. So that is the flower crown in Better Minecraft. If anyone is wanting to craft one and not wanting to uh, use the resources, that's what you get. So, yeah. Kind of, kind of funny, I think. Also, I really like how our backpack with the diamonds literally matches the armor so well. Oh, also, um, I will give you guys a hint. I'm not gonna keep like giving you guys like spoiler things to Thursday's video, but um, I figured out, you know my bubble wand? I figured out something very, very funny about using the bubble wand and perspectives um, that just, it's so funny. So that's the one thing I'll say, but I figured it'd be kind of funny to show you guys the flower headwear thing, cause it was just so ridiculous. <laughs> uh, poison skellies are not gonna be fun. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're getting in a 121 
poison skeletons. Those will be so interesting. I feel like bringing buckets of milk is gonna be way more valuable. Just because uh, you, uh, you're gonna get poisoned if you're trying to get slime. But it should be, it should, should be a really fun one. I'm excited. Love how Saf, Saf crashed the boat at the start. Oh yeah. That definitely just like became the lore of it all. You're not gonna watch all of it because you have dance. Oh fun, Gabriella. Have fun at dance as well. You're eating mac and cheese with chicken fries. Oh, that sounds so tasty. I haven't had mac and cheese in so long. But yes, Zach, I am very excited for 121. I need to figure out. So we are going to be starting a new series. We need a lot more obsidian, so we need to go find a lava lake. I, I will be starting a new series when 121 comes out to just uh, kind of explore in a new world, um, build a new biome. Part of me has gone back and forth if I want to just update the 120 like bamboo world or not. But I'm always paranoid I'm gonna like not do it right, you know? So I haven't done that yet. But yeah, I'm excited to use the new tough blocks. All the new things will be just so fun. But uh, let's see how far away we're gonna be looking for lava lakes. This looks like a lava lake. So I say we go here. Temporary waypoint. That looks like it's just like a dot that's spreading. This looks like it's an actual like hole. So, okay, there's the X. You're so behind on the long plays. You're only on the second one. Oh, no worries. The, the, the better Minecraft long play adventures are a lot longer just because I kept getting so distracted uh, by just all the cool things. So, I understand the uh, the effort and time it takes to get through those, so I no worries at all. I appreciate that people are like watching them and enjoying them, um, so I'm glad to see that. Do I have a bucket? I do a bucket. Okay, we have a bucket for water. Oh. Okay. Mm yep. Ravine. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah. I'm glad you guys still thought the, the flower crown was cute. I was just like, my expectations did not match yet. Hi, duck. Hello. So cute. But my, uh, my expectations did not represent reality on that, so it was really funny. It looks like a puppy with a flower crown. The evil flower from Undertale. Red in her lion era. Y you know, all these things. You're eating a popcorn ball. Ooh, that sounds tasty. You're gonna make some nom noms, like do homework, just finish two of your classes. Ooh, nice. Well, good luck with the classes. Excited for the next series. Thank you guys. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what type of uh, building theme I want to go with for 120. So that's the that's the next thing to, to figure out is what do I feel like building in? Cause part of me thinks that because everything's gonna be kind of like, we get new copper stuff, right? Like everyone is going to be building in like a steampunky thing and it's not exactly like the coziest of themes so i'm trying to figure out if i want to do that hi hello hi oh careful careful my friend you're, you're spazzing i'll leave you jeepers sorry <laughs> didn't realize i would freak you out that but yeah, um, I'm still figuring out, but I think it will be fun and exciting. Part of me toyed around with if I want to try uh, a 120 world in hardcore, but uh, I'm, I'm not the best at surviving in hardcore, so uh, I don't know how that would go. But you know, uh, maybe, maybe we try it. You inspired me to save it for a PC just so I can play better Minecraft. Oh, really, Squid? Well, I hope you uh, enjoy the PC. Definitely makes it easier, especially if you want to play it with shaders, because you can play it without shaders. But I just think shaders just makes it look so much prettier. It still is such a cool, like, landscape, though. Like, you get giant biomes. Oh, yep. That is our lava pool. So it still looks pretty, but I just feel like shaders just is a, a whole new level for it. But uh, it definitely helps having a, a PC that can handle it. Even sometimes mine uh, lags. So I hope that's a fun time. 
How's your day? Welcome in JJ. My day's going good. I uh, felt very productive. I got the whole uh, long play for this coming Thursday all recorded. The build is done. All of that. Oh, I need water. Darn it. Where's water? Got that all sorted. And then I went and I worked out. And then I made some dinner. And I'm streaming now. So it's it's been a good day. Um, at my house, I'm replacing the carpet. Oh, what, 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 what slowed me? Did that slow me down? Hello? Get stuck in a snail trail. What do you mean a snail trail? Where's the snail? What do you mean a snail trail? <gasps> Wait, look. Oh my gosh, the, the trees turned to ash. <gasps> okay, that's sad, but also such a cool mechanic. So how do I, hello, H hello. Um, this makes it kind of more sad. I literally, I don't have water. <laughs> I can't do anything. Uh, okay, oh, there's water. Ow. For 120, maybe try cozy steampunk, like the outside builds of steampunk, but the insides are super cozy. Yeah, that could be a fair thing. Yeah, that was the thing I was trying to like figure out. I'm like, how do you make steampunk cozy? And also it's like, if everyone is going to be doing steampunk, do you really want to watch yet another series like from me also doing steampunk? Or will everyone be tired of steampunk and like want somebody just to do something else? Also, I know it's winter now because this is freezing over. So that was kind of my thoughts. Like if everyone's doing um, steampunk, like do I also want to do steampunk still? So that was my debate. But yeah, I think the whatever I do, I want it to still be cozy. So I'm trying to figure out <laughs> even the concept of what is cozy steampunk if I do that. Or just trying like different build styles that also incorporate copper in other ways. I was trying to like look up different things that I could use copper for with that. Yep. So just make it a little different. What was for dinner today? Welcome in kayak. Um, I made a, a salad with spinach and kale, and then I cooked up some salmon in some, uh, okay. Yeah, take, okay, you know what, no. Wow, my aim was just terrible there. Okay, yeah. I'm glad at least when he hits me, because I have got that fire thing on my boots, um, it, it gives me knockback and sets them on fire, which is kind of nice. Oh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I just um, grilled up some, I just uh, cooked up some salmon and in some teriyaki and coconut aminos and cut up some red bell peppers. That was my, I finished my workout. So now we eat healthy foods to be good for me. But it was tasty. I've really gotten into having um, like salmon as one of the main foods. Uh, salmon and like chicken and teriyaki. I've really been enjoying. Red doy step or what? Oh no, what strategy rebel should be concerned? Da, da, da. Red and Sam are your favorite YouTubers. Ah, that's so fun. Sam's great. Copper would also look good in a desert theme. That's true, yeah. I was also like thinking like, what if I did more of like a, uh, like an Aztec inspired theme with like the copper, like the blue copper would look good in that and doing um, kind of like, there's a movie called El Dorado. I think it's a DreamWorks movie, but kind of just like the lost city of El Dorado kind of a vibe, more like Aztec-y and incorporating copper. I thought that could be cool, but I feel like the biome that I would want to build in for that would be the, the jungle again. And I just did a, ju a jungle series, so I wasn't sure if I would want to like do that again or, you know, have it be somewhere else. So that was another idea. 
Welcome in Devil Kitten. No one is ever late. You're able to join when you're able to join. We're just chatting and we're collecting the obsidian so that we can go and explore the modded nether. Obviously first fighting the warden. Exactly, yeah. We have fight the warden first, prove that we can do hardcore and then just build cozy things the rest of the time. Yep, yep. The strategy, yeah. It's the secret. <laughs> yeah, me and Rebel have been talking about uh, different things we're going to do at the beginning. And we're like, uh, yeah, I think that one will give Seta a heart attack. For sure. <laughs> But it'll be fine. Oh, I almost just walked there. It'll be fine. Oh, also, um, show of like 07s or if you, okay. If you were in my stream where in my 120 world, we went collecting netherite and I thought I lost my whole shulker box with all of my like netherite upgrades, all of that. Uh, type one in chat if you were in that stream. I'm curious how many of you guys were in that stream where I thought I lost my whole like netherite ancient debris box in the lava when we were in the treasure bastion. I'm trying to remember. Okay, okay, we got some people. Okay, so uh, like days later, I forgot to like tell you guys this, days later, okay, I went back and I watched the VOD and not, the only thing that singed was the, uh, a piece of netherrack. That's the only thing that singed because I had put the shulker box back in the ender chest. And when I picked up the ender chest, it went immediately into my inventory. And the only thing that dropped down on the ground and singed in the lava was the piece of netherrack that my ender chest was sitting on. So I didn't lose the ender chest but I did hear something singe and I was so confused how all of my stuff was fine, but I heard something get singed and that's what it was. So you guys might've uh, already like figured that out as like the thing that was the cause of the singeing sound, but I had not. And so that's, that was, that's what I figured out. Wait, where'd my water go? It, it evaporated? Oh no. So yeah, that was some luck you have. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I saw that and I was scared. That was a terrifying moment. I literally, guys, I was so sad in that moment. Also, 30 is more than enough. I'm just getting carried away at this point. But I was, oh, I was so sad. I was like, we've been working. <laughs> and this was the one goal of stream. <laughs> and I didn't even do it. I didn't even get it. <laughs> so I figured that out and I was very glad that, oh, the snails, oh, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. But I was very grateful that that's all that it was. Are these both dandelions? Oh, interesting. So that was fun. Good times. Yep. Yeah, we were also scared for you, but ended up being the things under. Yes. Yeah, I, oh my gosh, that was such a scary moment. <laughs> but I'm glad that it wasn't anything crazy. I'm glad everything turned out okay. Nothing got singed. It was all fine. You just lost your back pickaxe, oh no. Losing your favorite pickaxes is always so sad. But you know, the only real thing you can do is try to get a new one and maybe it will be an even better one, you know? You really never know. You just finished the ramen and egg if anyone wants to see in the show and tell. Ooh, nice. I hope it's so, so tasty. I haven't actually like made myself ramen. Like the only ramen I really have eaten is I think I had ramen at like a hybrid sushi place that has it. Um, and then uh, like instant ramen, just chicken ramen, you know, just the classic college thing. That's the only two forms. It's so yummy. Ooh, good, I'm glad. I am glad. I need to start looking down because we're gonna come into the clearing where you would see the whole new build. What are you excited for in 121? Um, I honestly think the, the tough variants is one thing I'm really excited for. I think the auto crafter is actually cool because like just making certain, like I always will make an iron farm. I'll always make uh, like a, a sheep farm and just like doing some of the crafting for those things with the auto crafter will be just so much more convenient. 
So I'm excited for those. Okay, now I need to figure out where I'm going to set up my nether portal without showing you guys the build that I did today. Where is it? Okay, it's right here. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna look see around and kind of see where would be a good spot for our nether portal because we've got most of our stuff over here. This is like a, a ravine, so I don't want anything to go there. I already have something in mind going here. <laughs> I could do something right here, but I want to make like a build for this. You're not gonna use the crafter a whole lot. It feels so weird to have such a thing. That's true. It doesn't really feel like a full like Minecraft thing almost. In Minecraft, you get lost so fast. If I travel to deserts, different biomes, I can't find your way back. That is fair, Will. Um, if you're ever curious to like have like a mod, there's a mod called, uh, I think it's like Zero, Zero's Map Mod, but you can find um, mods that will just like give you a giant map of everywhere that you've traveled so far. And then you can like tag things as like your home. And then it tells you how many blocks away things are. So Russ's tavern is 700. Ocean monument that I found was 3,200. So things like that, those will be, that could be a helpful little, little tip. Um, I need to sleep. I need to seep. Take a nap and then take a sip of my drink. What are the new auto crafters? Basically, it's just um, it's a it's a block that you can create, and basically all you do is like set it up so that when it gets certain things like sent into it, kind of like you put a hopper into it, as from my understanding, then it knows like if you give me coal in one and sticks in the other. When it gets, when both of those items get into the auto crafter and I told it to make a torch, it will just keep making torches as long as those two items are getting funneled into it. If I'm not explaining that correctly to the people that know more, feel free to chime in. Yes, you're welcome then. I just thinking the same thing, farms and trading, so you don't have to mine an auto craft, you don't have to craft in Minecraft. Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like there's, it's just kind of. Just not Minecrafty at times. I perfected how to make the gooey ramen egg and now I will never not eat eggies with ramen. I love eggs on just like, I'll get different like rice noodle bowls and things and even just on like rice bowls or even just like adding it into whenever I get Chinese food, just like adding an egg on it. Oh, so good. It looks so cute beside the sunflower. It's a big sunflower. This thing's like as big as my face. Here, this is my other flower crown. This is my other flower. There. This is the other flower headwear that we get to wear today. <laughs> Zero's map is what? Yes, thank you, Squid. I was like, it's it's a very strange spelling and I don't know how to say it. Waystones, yes, waystones always is, I love waystones, super helpful. You have beef with your Minecraft? You have beef with Minecraft right now, really? You've been trying to get every mod in Minecraft? Ooh, how's that going, Zach? Oh, this is a big guy. All right, where do we want to put this? I might just like set this down somewhere just so that we set it down. Huh. Maybe we go over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this, like these ponds here. But maybe we just put it by these Sakura trees. No, we'll, we'll probably put it at the top of this. Okay, so I've got my flint and steel. And we're not gonna go in right away because I need to make myself uh, like gold boots or something. All the gold things. So hard, I believe it. There's a lot of Minecraft mobs. Okay, let's just, whoa, I'm sliding. Ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. Oh gosh, guys, I'm, I'm nervous to go in here. So nervous. It'll be fine though. Oh, look, it kind of like blends in.
Okay. We have got it made, and I'm gonna put some of this in here. I'm putting my flint and steel in here, so we've got extras of those. Um, we're gonna go grab craft gold things now. Do, 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 do. How are you liking better Minecraft so far? I'm having a really fun time with it. I think if you're kind of feeling like you need like a refresh, like you want Minecraft to just feel different, but still be Minecraft, uh, better Minecraft is a great way to just kind of like take a break from what regular Minecraft could be and then just have a good old time in something brand new. I've been enjoying it. I think it's fun for if you really like exploring in the game. I'd also say, we're gonna bring a saddle in case. Anything else I should bring? Maybe we'll bring a regen potion, you never know. Um, fire aspect, fire aspect, what's mine? I added sweeping edge three, so at this point this one's better and safer. We've got a spare shield. Um, oh, that's the mending bow, we'll keep that out. We don't need the mending bow. Okay, I think um we're in a good spot. Good luck, Red, going into another. Thank you. I love building and exploring, so I really like it. Yeah, it's super fun. Not insta dying is a good first step. Yep, that's kind of what I'm going for. Not, <laughs> not insta dying. I've got a bunch of like building blocks and stuff, and we've got wood, we've got coal, so I feel like we're good. We've got a boat. Maybe we'll stick a boat in our inventory. Um, we need food. That's the one thing I'm like out of basically. So we get a, we're gonna make foods. And then we're gonna go. So we've got the foods. I don't need to have my sleeping bag. So we'll just put the sleeping bag in here. And in case I do die, I wanna make sure I'm like by my bed. And let's see, I'm not gonna make I'm going to leave my feather fall boots on, so this is unenchanted, so I'm just going to make me a helmet. That's my play. Okay. And I'm going to leave my, uh, my diamond helmet in my chest, just because I won't need it. 24 is not enough for food. Oh, there we go, steak. I was like, I know I just made steak. Oh, I finally can watch your live. I'm just gonna switch it and make it if I watch all the VODs. Oh, that's so funny, watch all the VODs. Well, thank you for doing so, I appreciate it. It's always fun to know people still enjoy watching the content after the fact too. But welcome into a live live. Emotional support, woo, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it all. Okay, we get an extra spoon because he's almost gone. We we make some extra pickaxes. I'm still using my um, my iron ones. It's fine. Also, iron plaque. Interesting things you can make. Not exactly sure what that's all about. But, um, let's go. Let's go. We got a portal. Okay. So we've got protection four on these, unenchanted. We've got feather fall and proc and unenchanted. We don't have any levels, so I'm not even gonna try to enchant things. But it's, uh, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna have like pillaring blocks ready right away. I don't have fire res or anything that I'm aware of. Weakness, regen, water breathing. Yeah, not gonna help me. Goblin traders. Oh yeah, water breathing for 15 minutes, guys. That's insane. Blocks to tower or bridge. Yep, I've got extra blocks in my inventory here. I don't need calcite, so I'm actually gonna put these blocks away just so I can uh, have some extra space for other things. But if I forget, my diamond helmet is in here, okay? So if I'm asking where I put it, I'm trying to remind myself that's where I ended up placing it. We'll bring extra cobblestone though, because I feel like you can never go wrong with some cobble. And we've got coal. I want to have some torches just so I can kind of like dot my way around the place. And I do have enough, um, I have waystones. So I have two waystones. Also guys, 
I added this um, mod. I found this mod by searching it. I was trying to find one of those like lasso things that lets you capture mobs. But this one, you shift and right click and it puts them in a little capture cell. So helpful with villagers, I will just say. I moved villagers today for the long play. Freaking helpful. Okay. Okay, guys, we're ready. I'm gonna put this in my in my little little hot bar. I, I saw Archie say not instant tag. That's a good sign, Red. Hey now, hey now. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> What's your favorite house you've ever built? Ooh. Um. My favorite build I've ever built. That's a good question. Um, I've really enjoyed a lot of the builds I'm doing in this 119, but I also think my one, or in this 120 and my 119, those are probably my two favorites. Oh, it's lagging hardcore. I'm in a green, why am I? Okay, okay, okay. Nothing's gonna hurt me. Okay. Why are there screamies? Why are there screaming sounds? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. What's that? I don't know what that is. What's this, a button? A wart seed? Ooh. What are these things? Guys, I'm like tense right now. Oh, okay. So I know for a fact that there's, I've seen these giant wither snakes. I'm not about to have a wither snake on me, so uh. We, we do this, we seal ourselves in from the sides. What did I, glowstone pile, a lamba seed, interesting. It survives on soul sand, are we on soul sand? Mushroom grass, interesting. Oh, what is that? Oh, I don't like that thing, what the, f what the frick, what the frick, what are you? What are you? A pig bat? A flying pig! There's flying pigs! What is this? What is this? A wither snake? Oh yeah, rebel. A wither snake. It is in one- Ooh. Alright, is he gonna hurt me? Are you gonna hurt me? I don't trust you. You look like you're dangerous. I'm just gonna keep doing this, yep. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> so far, I'm hiding in a box. Great start, great start. Um, did I bring any extra shears? There we go. I wanted shears because I can pick up some of this cool stuff. There's like so many sounds. Okay, so I'm probably not gonna read chat very much. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot going on. Uh, okay. I don't know where that bat thing went. Okay. What of this looks like it will hurt me? Oh wait, hang on. I wanna go back in my little help. I wanna go in back in my little hole, my little spot. Okay, let's let this load in. <gasps> ooh, ooh, we want this. We want the fortress. Dude, though, this. Holy moly. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We gotta go past this. So, wither skeletons are here. Mentally preparing yourself for jump scares. Ah, <laughs> oh, so scary. Hopefully, no one placed a bet on when pigs fly. No kidding, moth. I was... Yep, they're, they're in Minecraft. Now we leave. Yeah, gosh. Oh. What giant wither snake? Yes, there's wither snakes. Your partner and I did a, a play of Better Minecraft and your another spawn was in a lava pool. Oh no, Goth. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Hey, Savea. Hello. Welcome on in. This is my first this is your first time seeing modded nether and it looks good. You like it, Blue Rose? It's pretty. 
I just know there's things in here that are gonna just attack me and I'm not excited for that. So it is pretty though. Like, okay, if I just do a, a little like fly through, ignoring our flying pig here, like this is beautiful. Like that's so pretty. Like whatever this is, it reminds me of the, the avatar, um, avatar, were they the Navi? It reminds me of some of that. But then there's like these biomes. Oh, look, it's a whole mushroom biome. Ah, <gasps> no way, it's a mushroom biome. Oh, look at these little dudes. What are you? You look like a, like a bacteria. <laughs> oh my goodness, what the heck? Look at this. Are these little, oh my gosh. Are you? Are you a house? You're just a mushroom. <gasps> there's m there's mushroom places. Old fungi woods, that's what they call this. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. There's mushrooms everywhere. Well, guys, I guess we gotta move to the nether. So pretty, looks like an enchanted forest, except for the lava. No kidding, mushy cult. We have a home. We've got a mushroom biome. You love better Minecraft. It's so cool. Hi, Red. How are you? Sorry, I'm like your freaking computer wasn't working. Oh no, where is it all, Jennifer? I'm doing good. I'm exploring modded Nether for the first time because I need to find blaze rods. But we're just kind of taking in the scenery, and we just found a whole old. They call it the uh, old fungi woods, but it's like a mushroom biome. So we just found that. But we're kind of just like taking a free cam peek before we um, go looking for a very scary uh, fortress. But yeah, modded nether is just crazy. Like, uh, there's so many blocks that I have no idea what they are. Like, there's spikes. There's full on spikes in the game now. But this is what we were looking at, is just how pretty this is. Minus the lava. And this also looks like it's lava, but they're just vines. Okay, we may have to build on the roof in the duo world on that roof. Yeah, it's it's pretty. Yeah. Now I'm scared to go to the nether in your world. Oh no, well this is not normal. Normal is not as like all in your face. So it shouldn't be too bad. What is this spawner though? Oh, hoglins? Oh, big bad piggies? What are these bricks though? Hello? Grimstone bricks, those look cool though. But guys, we've got a chest. That looks scary, but also kind of cool. Holy, look at all these spawners though. What are you? Oh, withers. If we want a wither farm, guys. Oh, uh, I don't know how I feel about all this. We're bringing a little cheeky. This looks like you could just make portal frames, like a ton of them, right? We're being a little sneaky. I'm exploring because I'm too scared to explore in here myself. Look at all these spawner rooms, holy moly. I cannot tell what this is. Hello, what are you? Oh, those are wither skellies. Nice, okay. So basically just all the wither skellies. Magma cubes. Magma cubes. And there's a staircase. Withers, more withers, and more withers. Lovely, good times. Super excited to run past that and never get to it. Oh, I'm a little bit scared, guys. This is my, my hole that I've just created because I'm too scared. This is a lot, this is a lot. Welcome in, Dragonfly. We are um, just taking all in the, uh, wait, flesh biome? There was a flesh biome? I didn't even see that. Oh, gosh. Those mushrooms have incredibly pretty blue wood. Oh, really, Claire? Okay, we'll have to get some good, some goodies. Time to do homework. Good luck, Jazzy. Welcome in, Cheryl. Yeah, this is beautiful. But that, that place doesn't sound fun. The end needs an update. It does. 
I was so scared when I heard there was a flesh biome in Frog Crafting Stream. Oh, she was saying the same thing? Oh, gosh. Uh -huh. <sighs> okay, guys. We have to go past the, the, the scary wither house to get to uh, the fortress. And as soon as we we get there, okay, we're uh, we're going to make a waystone and GTFO. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I want to collect cute things too, so I need to like I have a silk touch pick, right? So these are just bone blocks, so those are always nice to have. <gasps> Whoa, bone block stairs? Can I make this into bone meal though? That is, that is kind of a bummer. The ec it echoes in here too, guys. Okay, what about Silk Touch? Okay, so Silk Touch picks up the things. This is so pretty, oh my word. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this with me. And we're gonna put that in our uh, Becca pick. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, the fortress I saw is over here, right? So I need to just go past this and get here. Temporary waypoint. Where's our little yellow X? It's hard to see the X. Okay, there it is. Cause this is all like very bright. All right, now I'm keeping pillaring blocks in my inventory. This feels way scarier. They're just like the, the piglin guys, but this just feels way scarier. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. What, what are you? Propellant? Uh, uh, phew. what? <laughs> I just tried to hold grass in my hand and it blew up. <laughs> what is, uh, I don't like this. Okay, so propellant cane. It, it basically could be called a bomb cane. Oh, I had a heart attack. <sighs> my heart can't handle this, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeepers. The gasp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. You've been in stream before a lot, but since you've changed your name, it was originally Seda. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah, I do remember Seda being in streams, so I'm glad that you uh, let me know that you changed it so that I'm aware. But welcome back. I don't like how it echoes so much in here, but what is this? This doesn't look like that scary. Is there anything interesting? Oh, wow, look at that. That's so beautiful. Look at this, the green. Wow, oh my word, what is this biome? Uh, sulfuric bone reef. That checks out, there's bones everywhere and it's green. Man, that's so pretty though. That was terrifying for no reason, it was absolutely zero reason for it to do that and that was so scary i feel like there's gonna be hidden spawners in here just because there's like different modded things but yeah lesson learned don't touch grass yep you heard it here first gamers don't touch grass Ugh. gosh i literally was like oh i'll be fine okay i'm trying to remember what biomes had the uh the snakes that are bad. Maybe, ooh, what is that? This is just like so dense. Dang, the modded nether looks incredible. It does, it looks so pretty. It's a lot, but it's pretty. We're gonna just plow through one of these guys. A golden vine. Can I like snip a golden vine? Can I can I have a golden vine? 
They're pretty. I'm very scared though. I wanna know what that block is. I am curious. I wonder why the end, what the end looks like if the nether. Yeah, right? I, I know for a fact that the end is like beautiful. Nether lapis. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I love the little mushrooms just hang on the side there. That's so cute. <gasps> I want some of them. I want some side wall mushrooms. How do I get them? Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, wait, Ruby. Hello. Um, let's take a block of that and we will take some wall mushrooms. Don't mind if I do. This will become my whole aesthetic. Wall mushrooms. Yeah. Okay, there's more ruby. I'm interested in this. Like, this is a very interesting block to have. And I'm curious what we can do with ruby. I feel like it's armor. Oh, this is like a lot. I have no idea if this is like a normal amount of ruby or if rubies like matter. But let's look it up. If we look up ruby. <gasps> Ooh, guys, we can make fancy armor. Okay. So seven. So the toughness is 1.4. So the armor is eight and armor toughness is two. Armor toughness is a little bit less. The armor is a little bit less, but I get knockback resistance, which is kind of nice. Red likes for mushrooms. We love the mushroom aesthetic. It is great. Ruby fire upgrade. Oh, interesting. It's just lapis. Yeah, that's interesting. It's like lapis, you know, like you don't find lapis in the nether. It's kind of funny that it would be here. Okay, there's all the yellow things. Where's the X? There it is. Okay, I'm like, where the heck did it go? I'm gonna tunnel. We shall tunnel for safety. I think it's so interesting that there's just lapis in the nether. The more you know, folks. Ruby makes more sense to me than lapis. Yeah, it is interesting that you can get lapis. Oh man, I should do a hardcore world with Butter Minecraft. Dude, Rebel, that would be intense. That would be a fun challenge though. I wish you all the luck if you decide to go for it. I shall not be. <laughs> Yeah, report back your experience. Let us know, Ripple. There's so much lapis. Yeah, it's so interesting that there's lapis in here. I never would have thought that I could get lapis in the nether. Seems so strange, but I'll take it, you know? I'm fine with that. I also feel a lot safer just tunneling. Like this feels like a normal nether experience, even though I know it's not. There's just so many things. A nether reed, all these fancy things. Let's put our wall mushrooms in a safe spot because we like them. We think they're cool. I'm just gonna clear space. Full bone block and bone block. Can I do anything with this one? No, what is it? Okay, it's just an aesthetic. Noted. Noted. I became a Twitch mod one of these days. One of these days, still learning what I can do. Oh, sure. Yeah, I still don't understand all the Twitch stuff. I do want to start potentially uh, multi-streaming because I think that would just be... Wait, is this a different... Lapis pile. Interesting. But at some point, I do want to start uh, like multi-streaming onto um, Twitch as well. But, you know, that's just... Gotta figure things out first, and it takes time. It's set up like gold, so they're lapis nuggets, essentially. Yeah, which, which is super interesting. 
and then you have to like put a whole piece together to make a lapis. Kind of cool though. It makes sense though. If it's gonna, if you're gonna have like blocks be in the nether and they already do that with the gold, like it makes sense. It checks out. How am I gonna trap a bat? Oh goodness. Oh, it's the Cincinnati. I do recognize this one. I know this is something you can make stuff out of. Sin Sin. Like, those are pretty. Look what we can build. We can get some good armor. Actually, it's not that great. Like, the armor toughness. Literally, Cincinnite. Sin. Cinacite is not as good as Ruby. Oh, wait. I have Vein Miner. Hang on. Um, Vein Miner, though, is. This is the thing I don't like about Vein Miner though. It's going to take like a massive chunk. So I have it on a key bind. So like, oops, excuse me. It's on a key bind, but it'll like, it'll help a little bit. Oh geez, but that is what I don't like about it. You just get the, the you get the lava. <laughs> Did this one is the fortune? Maybe chase him into a cage. Yeah, I don't think can you I don't think you can put bats on leads. So you'd have to maybe try to get them in a boat. I don't know if that would work. This one has vein miner. So like this works until I hit lava. And it also is making me go down and I don't think I need to go downwards. Oh my, what on earth? Look at this. That is terrifying. Oh wait, I literally passed this. I'm just going straight for this giant thing, whatever that is. Dude, this biome looks so eerie. This looks like a mushroom. Wart forest, soul plane. Ooh, that looks pretty. The sulfuric bone, warped woods. Oh, what the heck? Oh, those are the creepy jellyfish. Giant jellyfish that explode. Love that. Um, let's just try to get to the, uh, the, the blaze spawners. I feel like I'd much prefer that, so... We're gonna be cheeky about this. I also like how in the, I'm in the nether, but this um, tells me where my overworld things are, like home in the nether is that way, you know, like things like that. It's interesting. Gold ore, nice. I'm like hearing things now. He's a little scary. That could be a city if it has the spawners with another right. Oh my word, that sounds terrible, Claire. Oh, I hope it's not that. All right, we've got our armor on. I'm gonna show my armor while I'm in the nether just cause reasons. You know, maybe I'll be more intimidating if they see my armor, you know? They'll feel threatened by me. I need quartz. And I've got, oh, I know I didn't put mending on this yet. Okay. 
we'll put this back. My, I love how this is already getting like filled. Like my backpack is already getting filled up. Crazy. So the mobs don't really feel like fighting you. You never know. You're gonna go get the warden. Ooh, good luck with the warden. That sounds terrifying, but I wish you the best of luck. And then this one is my fortune. I want to make a sugarcane farm, so I want quartz. Perfect. I'm like on top of this waystone. Oh, hi. Welcome in, Daisy. You believe in me, thank you guys. I'm very scared to go into this modded nether fortress. Um, I think what's helpful though, is like I can already see like, this is a spawner. I think this is a strider spawner though. Like you don't see just striders there, right? So it's kind of interesting. But that seems like it's striders. There's lots of wither skeletons around. past four times I've gone through a portal, all difference, take me to a random floating portal on the other side, just happened again. Oh no! <laughs> Scary! I hope uh, you're at least safe when you get through. Oh, hi bud. How's it going? You're at least a safe friend. Hi, uh, are you chilly? Oh, you can fit in a one by? Oh, I didn't know that. Are you trying to escape? Oh, I just closed up some lava, I'm sorry. Um, you wanna go that way? Can you move? Thank you. Oh. Oh gosh. I don't like the noises. Oh look, you're riding one, how cute. Oop, they're spawning more of them. Okay, I'm curious if I put torches on this, if they'll stop spawning. I want to make sure that the mechanics work the same before I try to go gung-ho into places and just like go running crazy. Lena's in here. Protection. Some quartz, nether wart, nice. Okay. Things to put in my inventory. Um, Man, I feel like I don't need these usual crimson blocks. If I'm gonna keep anything, it's the more unique things, you know? Oh, I think they're still spawning. Even if this is lit up, this is important to know though. I need to make sure that if they aren't, if they don't have issues with light. Oh, we've got pig step, let's go. I feel like they just keep spawning guys. I'm not gonna lie. But it's kind of fun, the striders. Yep, see, I lit this up so much. So this is good to know. We testing. We're testing and learning. Just destroy the spawner, you'd say. Yeah, I don't really need this type of spawner. So that is something I might do. This is true. Okay, don't need that spoon. Saddles are always nice. Nether wart's always nice. I won't take a warp block. I'm trying to just like remove things that I won't need to make room for the goodies. I feel like getting other side is nice. And getting pig step is nice. Getting extra gold, always nice. Bruh, you guys are just gonna keep spawning and you're cold. Mountain has arrived. Well, <laughs> welcome in, Mountain. We're exploring modded nether. I have not died yet, so uh, it, it's going as good as it can. <laughs> but we're finding cool things. So I don't really think I need a strider spawner, so I am gonna break this one. Look at, they're just so toasty in the little spawner thing, and then they get here and they're cold. That's too sad. 
too sad for the little things. Look at them shivering. And I get a spawner fragment, which those are always cool. All right, what are the things that I can kind of move around? I just don't have a lot of inventory space now. We'll just get rid of these things. Get rid of these things. Spawner fragments. A lot of these things I'm curious to keep. Molded nether. Yeah, modded nether sounds very fun. They sound like clickers from The Last of Us. Oh my gosh, true. They really do. All right, this is the next little spot where we're going to try to get to. So I'm going to change the waypoint to this one. This is cool, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a cool little spot. We can get cabbage in the nether. <laughs> Chirp and 13. Bones. I think I grabbed everything I'm interested in. I already have saddles. Yeah, we're just going to... Nether bricks look cool, too. Ooh. Okay. Wait, there's something down there. But what is it? That's another spawner. What is it, though? Can we see what that is? Oh, it's another strider one. But why? There's no lava for them. Unless we, like, get them up here. Poor little guys. She's gone. Find yourself. <laughs> Poor Sada. Uh, you're gonna look real quick. Make yourself something to eat. So what you're saying is I should go back into the overworld and go take on the warden in the ancient city living below me, right? <laughs> quick, find something dangerous, Archie. <laughs> Sada will never be able to take a break if that is the case because she will just be scared. I just keep doing something scared. I'm sorry. I know this is a little sad, but I don't want you guys to just get cold in here. And that's literally what you're going to do. You're going to get cold in here and it will be sad for me. I don't, I don't want you to just be chilled the whole time. A full bone block couldn't do anything for me. Um, let's see. I don't need all the netherrack. I like these ropes. I literally love using these ropes. I don't need this cabbage stuff. The nether wart. We took nether wart. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take the coal. And then... Everyone just got hit on like they're missing thing big. Welcome in, Mike. Uh, we're just starting to explore the modded nether. So we spawned in right where our home thing is. And we kind of like nether tunneled our way over here. So we found this little spawner and we're kind of just trying to find a blaze spawner because I want access to uh, blaze rods. And then we're going to set up a waystone. So that's kind of our progression. But there's some really pretty biomes in here. We found an old fungi woods mushroom biome, which is fun. Nether mushroom forest. Grasslands in the... So just like different fun modded biomes for sure. But now we're just trying to make our way... Whoa, what is that? A magma land. Wow. That sounds aggressive. Oh, look at there's an old fungus. What is this though? Yeah, so we're just exploring. Um, I haven't died yet, that's the goal. But we came from this waypoint to this one and we're kind of just chunking our way along. But I feel like we're right by a tunnel here. Okay. Thanks for the recap. Oh, no problem. We're finding strider spawners, but I'm breaking them because they can't really find lava easily and that just sounds sad. <laughs> also, what's this? bloodstone i feel like i'm okay so another thing you could uh, check back but i touched a piece of grass that looked like sugarcane and it blew up in my face so i'm a little bit nervous to pick things up what does bloodstone do though that sounds just freaky let's type it in though bloodstone okay so you can just like make kind of pretty blocks so how many did i pick up four like, you can make a pretty block. I mean, that does look pretty. I don't know when I'm gonna like use a block like this, but it's cool. 
definitely cool. Lucky, he's so, he can't even get. <gasps> okay, yep, definitely the fortress. We finally actually found the fortress, not just little spawners. Bloodstone, yeah, the very strange. Very strange happenings, to say the least. the shield back up we're gonna kind of prep okay we've got the shield we'll put that there we've got our sword the regen we've got infinity i don't know what we're gonna find in here it's a little scary All right, since we're exploring this fortress, I might be a little bit quiet as I'm focusing. So we're going down here. I'm kind of nervous for whatever the heck that is. We'll find out. <laughs> a little, little scared. Oh gosh. I think I want torches. Yeah, we've got our torches, okay. Hello? Hello? Hi. Okay, now if I go to my map, there's blazes over here. So I think we're gonna... Okay, blazes over there. I hear more blazes though. Hello? Hello? You were a one hit? I didn't think my sword was that good. Oh, hi. Hi, flamies. Hello? fall on me. I'm also afraid of that. What if things fall on you here, you know? Hello? 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 Oh, I don't like that I can see. Oh gosh, that's the scary room. Oh, he's not gonna like me doing this, so we'll just get rid of you. Aw, oh, that wasn't even worth it. Wasn't even worth it. Okay, if I start getting this all like lit up they shouldn't spawn right in theory um interesting do i throw those how does that work okay uh yep Seems a little scary right now. Okay, we've got staircases on both sides. Okay. In twisting. Oh, hi, Skelly. Oh, 
Okay. Nice. Okay. Just death pit. Nice. I have a feeling they, the, uh, withers can just, like, climb around, and there's hoglets here, so I just need to be careful. Oh, you see me. Owie! Owie! All right. Ooh! Hi, bud. No, thank you. I don't want you to see me. Not the, not the vibe. Not the vibe. Ugh. Piggy. I'm gonna block that off so that this is a safe... This will be my safe zone. My zone of safety. <laughs> yeah. Zone of safety. Okay. Torches. More of those. I don't really feel like I need to have these weeping vines. Or these. I'm just trying to get rid of things that I won't really... I don't think I need. Okay. Oop. So I'm curious, if we free cam it, I want to see how big this place is. So let's just get a, a, a nice view of how large it is. So it's pretty large. It's got some cool decorations. Like if we notice, they've got some red and regular nether brick. Wish you could sleep in the nether to set your spawn. You can create uh, the crying obsidian um, respawn portals, like respawn anchors. You can make those. That's kind of the nether equivalent. Oh, there we go. There's one. Okay, we got one. We got a, a blaze spawner. But this place is cool so far. It's really large. Very pretty. Lots of uh, both nether brick and ned rather brick kind of blended together. Kind of just in between it all. But I think it's really pretty. It's very large. What the heck is that? Why is there a lone pillar? Also, what? That's like a crying obsidian land. Hello? Whoa, what is... Whoa! Whoa. Whoa, what are you? Blue weeping obsidian and crying obsidian. What biome is this? Magma lands, interesting. Dude, this weeping obsidian is cool. Whoa. Obsidian glass, oh, that's cool. And this is blue obsidian, oh, that's so neat. <gasps> wow, fancy. You want to eat it? <laughs> it does look good. Also, why does... Oh, this is just like a tower. <gasps> There's a waystone! Hey, they have them here too. Look at that. Too bad this is like in the scary nether. Gold, gold. Nice. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, I mean, it's not exactly the best waypoint because it's literally in the middle of just lava. Everywhere is lava. But that's fun. So for context, we're over here. What is this? Oh, they have coal blocks. That's nice. Wait, there's a button? That just seems ominous. Quartz glass. Ooh, that's cool. But yeah, so there's like a staircase here. But in order for us to get to the spawner, it is all the way down here and around the corner. A smoker. There's little like poofy smokers. Interesting. So we will need to kind of uh, go down through the layers. 
So we're going to go down some of these staircases here. So we're just gonna do some winding of the staircases and make our way down. So not exactly the funnest or the safest, but it's, it shall be done. Do not press the button. It does seem like the kind of button that you you want to press, but you really shouldn't. That's what it looks like. It looks like just chaos. Welcome in, Allie. Hang on, I have to cough. Push the button for netherite armor. Yeah, it just like puts a suit onto me, right? A full suit of netherite, just instantly. That's how that works, guys, right? <laughs> Gosh, can you imagine? Oops, wrong way. We're going this way. I want a blaze rod already. Come on. Is there a blaze spotter down there? There's just like so much to this. It's so giant. It's just like, look at this. This just goes down a hallway. Like, so giant. It's so cool. Such a cool space. Oh, and what's this one? Oh, it's a zombie piglin one. So there's just like random spawners of other things. But like these hallways are just ginormous. Oh, that's what I was hearing. These are the ones right above me. Crazy. Ooh. Where'd you come from? Oh, you're over there. Hi. Stop flying. <gasps> no, the one blaze rod that I get. Oh, man, oh man. Well, at least we have to go over to the coal block. All right, guys, this is going to be a little dangerous, and I think you know what I'm about to do. Some of you will be concerned. It will be fine. Sada's still gone, right? This is my this is my scary thing. She's, she's not going to come here, right? And just to be smart, I'm breaking it so no other baddies can get to me. Focusing, yeah, we focusing. We being focused. I hear a skeleton and I don't want to get yeeted off. But coal blocks, hey yo. Don't mind if I do. Coal blocks are like super helpful actually. Yay, we've got one. Beautiful. Poor Nosada did see me do the scary bridging. Oh snap! Oh snap! There is something under me. I don't know what it is, but there's. Where are you? Oh. You're over there. Just XP, okay. Nothing too crazy, just XP. Um, let's just... Oh. Oh. I'm like on top of a, a weird fence system. Interesting. Like this is all a fence. That is very strange. 
What mod is showing the percentages? Uh, for the tools and stuff? Or what percentages? I might not have seen uh, which percentages you were referring to. Do, 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 run. Oh gosh. No. No, 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 no. Fight me. Okay, that works too. But I was like, if you're gonna fight me, at least let me be on a more solid ground. <laughs> I wouldn't fall, like it wouldn't be bad to fall down here, but I just, I couldn't tell what was really there. Imagine if I would have hit those guys. Oh, that would have been bad. All right, well, I need to get down over here. So this is the place I'm trying to get to. So maybe we try to just get down over here. The tool and armors and stuff. It might be inventory HUD. It just to tells you like durability. Red, are you doing a super fast speed run? Best speed run in the world. <laughs> yes, yeah, super fast speed run. Not really, not really at all. If this is a speedrun, I would be making speedrunners ashamed. <laughs> I, I I don't know what's in a modded nether, so I'm just afraid of everything. That's more so what it is. That's more so what it is. Dude, everything just sounds way more ominous in here. It's crazy. Like everything is just making me paranoid. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Funny and not funny. Kind of a little bit of both. This is me trying to make a safe space in between everything so that I'm not seen by anything I don't want to see me. So that's what I'm doing. This is kind of like a, a little safety bunker station that I stop at. And I'd be very careful on the sides. Does chat have any building tips? Mm. This is a world record speed run. Yep. Four days. Yep. I, um, I've i never done a speed run. I thought, though, that... um. Oops, I just placed a block right in front of my face. I thought it would be kind of interesting to, like, try to do a speed run at some point. Just for the heck of it. Just to kind of, you know, see how well I could do. I would not do well, but, like, just to try it. You know? Because, you know, I think trying things is good. I wish there was a way I could like grab spawners and like bring them to the overworld. I would do that. Oop, 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 oop. I don't have looting on anything yet, so it doesn't really matter what I kill things with. If people are like wondering, like you should use looting. I don't got looting. I see you snaking through there trying to get to me. Okay, yep, you got me first, you're good, yep, yep, okay, yes, yes, cool, cool. I can see you, but like where, you know? That looks so dangerous, and there is a wither skeleton over there somewhere. Mm 
Where was that guy? Stinky. There they are. Bruh. Yeah, this is my speed run, guys. Yep. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm shockingly fast. I know, it's pretty incredible. Um, I'll be releasing tips on how to go as fast as me, you know, coming soon. Just kidding. Uh, they won't be, they'll be coming as quickly as I'm capable of doing a speed run. Where did those boys go? I like how it's kind of funny how this one spawned right there. Ooh. You got around things. Didn't consider that, did I? I feel like these just get killed easier. Am I wrong? Oh, that was good timing to leave. Come over here, up here, up, 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 up. Or not up. That works too. Tried to tell you, you know, which way to go to get to me, but didn't want to listen. Oh, tea. Oh, tea. OP sword confirmed. It's, I don't even really feel like it's that good of a sword, but these guys are just, why did the piglin store kind of sound like Scooby-Doo? Oh my gosh. I could see it. Dude, I love Scooby-Doo. I've been re-watching some Scooby-Doo and I'll say Jeepers and like Jinkies and stuff and I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Am I proud of myself or are we just like, Red, what are you doing? We've just been around before, but not a Minecraft is extremely slow. Really sad. Oh, that's cool though. It's still fun to like try things like that, I'd say. I don't like it. Man, I thought I moved quicker. Thought I moved to the side quicker. God keeps running into her netherrack box of emotion. I do. I. It's my safety box. <laughs> it's my safety box. Cause everything is scary in here. It's a scary world in here. This is modded nether, it ain't no joke. Also, I should try and like regular piglins. Okay. This is the waystone box. My waystone box. Uh. What? You know, they look kind of majestic, despite them looking like they will unalive me. Oh, and they just left. That, that, that's fair. That is fair. Ooh. I don't know what I just grabbed. What are you? What are you? Also, what did I just grab? Netherite fireball upgrade? I'm sorry, what? What on earth? That is very interesting. I'm getting rid of five planks and I'm keeping whatever that is. 
The fact that there are no guests makes this kind of chill. A magma guest? Yeah, I don't know what that little ghosty thing was. Um, kind of cool though. Foods. There we go. Got one with a sword and got some with the, the regular just goodies. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're first going to block this up. This is our area to get in. I don't want anything getting me while I'm kind of just setting up a little shop here, you know? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a chest together. We're gonna have some goodies. We're gonna have a little double chest, maybe. But we'll put our chest right here and then let's make another one. So now we've got a double chest. And I don't need any more. Now I want to grab my waystone. So we've got one waystone and we'll plop it right here. And we're calling this Fortress Blaze. Caps, please. Because there might be other sections of this area that we want to uh, focus on. But, okay, we, we made it. I'm safe in a box. And now we can just do a little chat. So let me catch up. I have been ignoring chat for a little bit because I've been trying to not die in this fortress and I've been listening to all the noises happening all around me that are scary. But let's see here. OP bow skills for OP speedrun. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it, yep. Red's going MLG. We we trying. We're we're getting those farming uh just farming the blaze skills. It's wonderful. We're we're getting there. Um I'm actually kind of impressed with just me like sniping with the bow back there. I do have to admit. Still no deaths. Still no deaths. We're surviving. I'm going to end the poll cuz so far you could just, you know. 153 votes and most people think that we're going to be surviving. So I, I will take that. Right out here slaying. We slay and we're trying our best. Um, but let's see who else is in here. You're farming now. Yeah, we're getting them. The OP skills. It's an open spawner too, not ideal. I know, Rebel, I know. It's always a bummer when they're open because it just changes a fireball color, which is a torch. Oh, really, Claire? Interesting. It's useless. Oh, okay. Maybe I won't keep it in my inventory. Welcome in, Aaron. Hope you're doing good. And welcome in Serenity. I really love your videos and you got me playing Minecraft again. Aw, I love to hear that. I'm glad you're enjoying some Minecraft again. Love that, love that. It's another jellyfish. Yeah, David, those just sound scary. They sound scary. What the actual heck? Everyone's like, um, nope. <laughs> Going back home should be fun. But see, Archie, here's the thing. Waypoints will just get me back home right away. It's wonderful. I'm excited. We can use the waystone to get home. Oh, uh, I hope so, because I literally brought this here for that very purpose. So we're going to try it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. That is so good, guys. Look at that. We can go right on home. The stream started 100 minutes ago. A whole 100 minutes. Look at that. That's nuts. It is very nuts. Um, also, if uh, you have not given the stream a like yet, 
I would much appreciate it. Definitely helps me out and make sure that, you know, the streams can get shared around some more. We love waystones. Waystones are our favorite. I'm literally just, oh, they're so good. But now what's fun is what we can do is I have been wanting to make some, I can remove this from my inventory, but I'm, I'm gonna drop off some stuff. We're gonna have another chest, but we're gonna go into our home. Literally, that was so fast. Just waystone, boom, done, we're here. We love it. Okay. Well, okay, so the things we got in the nether, we're gonna just get rid of a bunch of this. A bunch of the netherrack. We got these in the nether, the quartz. We'll leave these, those. So this, Claire, is a kind of useless type of a thing. Interesting. It's good to know though, because I would literally be like, ooh, this looks so fancy. It must do something. <laughs> We got some goodies. Don't forget to stay hydrated, everyone. Yes. What we doing now? Well, I want to get more blaze rods. I do want to um, also cure the villager that's down there and try to get on breaking three. So that's one thing that we could do. Um, I also have found another in the overworld. There's a um, kind of secretive dungeon looking thing. We could go explore that if that sounds interesting to people. Looks like it's sleepy times. Hey, Red, I'm your new sad. Well, welcome in, May. Hope you're doing good. You drank the entire bottle, a eh? getting that hydration. There you go. Okay, that's that's kind of a bummer. It doesn't really do much. Um, but Claire, it sounds like you actually like play this a lot, right? Since in fire bowls, I'm curious to look up, see what they look like. A fire bowl. Oh, that's all this does? It like upgrades these? Interesting. I still have yet to get your new, to get your water, nice. Yep, I've got some tea, that's what I got. Interesting, okay. Ah, well, I'm, I'm happy that we're, we're safer. This is good. Now, let's see. We got rid of, we emptied our inventory of a lot of things, but we've got our rope, all of this, the quartz, the two discs, the bone block, all of those things can come out of our inventory. So can the iron. Actually, iron is kind of helpful just to have on hand. Um, we're gonna put the wood back. I feel like the coal block should go back because that's a helpful thing. But the bone blocks can go back. The nice little blocks that we're finding things. We can like keep like a music disc one. That's kind of fun. And uh, let's just have all of those in there. I wanna see how this um, lapis pile works. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's literally just like nuggets. Curious and curious. And gotta leave that in there though. Okay, and then the spawner fragments are downstairs. I explored the nether and end a lot. Those mods are great. Oh, sure, that makes sense. That's super fun. Okay, well, I love that we got more of this rope because this rope is literally my favorite thing to uh, build with. <laughs> so it makes it kind of fun. But I had a weakness potion and I had gunpowder and I had a golden apple, but I didn't have any blaze powder to actually like brew it up with. So now we've got blaze powder. So then we have this. So we can make this a weakness potion. Is the end in, is the end even in the better Minecraft mod? Yeah, they make uh, the end look way better. They just like deck out all of the biomes, which is really cool. Okay, so let's go uh, cure our little dude. All right, so if I have a uh, villager that I'm thinking of making into a uh, librarian, or what type of villager do you think would be most beneficial for me to have the discounted with prices first? Because I have this dude who's gonna give me discounted prices, but I don't exactly know. Oh my gosh, that was stupid. I just, I, I literally yeeted it. If you pick this up, can you imagine if he picks this up? Thank you. That was silly. Silly of me. 
that was very loud but yeah what villager do you think would be good to uh have this guy be i thought maybe like a unbreaking three because i'll use that on all of my tools all of my armor so like that could be a good enchant oh my goodness savea coming in with tier two membership to the little community guys you know what to do get some exclamation mark hype in chat got the sparkles and the mushrooms what Thank you so much, Svea. I appreciate it. Thank you for becoming a tier two member and supporting me content creating. I much appreciate it. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I as far as which tools I have, I do. I've been wanting to for a while, but I'm, I always watch on your phone. Stars have aligned, and you're on your computer. Thanks for amazing content. Oh, well, thank you so much, Svea. I appreciate that. It is kind of weird that you can't be on your phone and become members. I do wish they would change that. Also, I just realized I've been live for eh, oh, almost two hours and it, my stream still says upcoming. Okay, um, you saw nothing. You saw nothing at all. <laughs> but thank you so much. For this. Thank you, thank you. Probably I should study for a quiz tomorrow. Ooh, good luck, dragonfly. We believe in you, you've got this. Mending is the only multiple use. I already have a mending guy, so we just need to like zombify and cure them. You became a member on your phone via the Play Store. Oh, really, Archie? The Play Store, interesting. I didn't know you could even do that. Are you allowed to ask if you like other games? You can, That's a question you can just ask. I have played Stardew Valley on stream. I'm playing The Last Campfire on um, my second channel, and I'll play a lot of, uh, I like playing Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. I've been playing through those a lot lately and really enjoying those ones. And as far as, those are kind of the main games I'm playing through right now and I'm really enjoying them. I'm gonna put the blaze rods right above this. Never heard of The Last Campfire. It's a very cozy game and the character is very cute. Um, I have a second channel, so if you wanna just go like look through that video or watch that video. I'm, I just did like a commentary kind of like playthrough of the first part of it. I'm gonna be working on some others of those, but they're they're very fun. You have the last campfire on your phone, you love it so much. Oh, I didn't know they made a phone version. That's super fun. But um, yeah, as far as this guy, I have, so I have, um, I have fortune and I have mending. I've gotten some other ones. We can go to the village and I can show you guys which ones I have. Just, I'm thinking that guy should be on breaking, maybe efficiency five, but that's only for tools. I was trying to find something that's like multi-use, you know? And I feel like I don't have on breaking three yet. And that's probably the most like multi-use one because I have silk touch, I have fortune. But let me, uh, let me show ya. It's on Apple Arcade. Oh, that's so interesting that that's how. Oh, wow, look, it became uh, it became winter again. All the trees changed. Do you notice that, guys? Look at that, it became winter. It's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, so if I come up the staircase that I made, just because they kept falling everywhere, I, I have this guy, which is Silk Touch, excuse me. I've got Fortune 3 and I've got Mending. So those are my three villagers that are, are uh, they have the trades done. So I feel like I should try for maybe an Unbreaking 3 on the one. Or what we could do is what if we made them a like a stick trade, you know, and they give us tons of sticks for a lot cheaper and then we can get emeralds a lot easier. So there's lots of different options I'm trying to, you know, figure out figure out what's best but yeah as far as what we should do next we've got another hour so oh gosh someone just hurt themselves so what i'm thinking is we could either keep exploring in the nether we could go try to get past that giant gate and see what's in there what are you doing are you okay look <laughs> Goodness. See, this is why I made the nice little staircase and everyone's just forgetting about the staircase. My goodness. 
Or, so the other thing we could do is I found another kind of like a zombie dungeon-y thing. I don't actually know what the spawners are, but there's spawners down there. Pull? That's true. Let's do a pull. Let's do a pull. Vernon isn't okay. Yeah, Vernon is struggling. <laughs> pull. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, the wind blew me across the little path here. Nether exploring. It was like a dungeon like staircase. And then another option, there were some more just like mine shafts on the overworld side. And then the other thing, fourth one. Uh, let's see. I do have some villagers that are giving, gonna give me a diamond armor and diamond tools that I also need to level up. So I'm just gonna say uh, level up villagers and that also includes deciding what that one villager will be and then locking them in. So now they're exploring, we can either try to get into that fortress or just look at the different biomes. Explore the dungeon staircase. In the overworld, there's like a little uh, staircase that I started looking at. It looked like a kind of like ruins. And then uh, I walked, I like free camped down there just to see and there was a spawner. There was mine shafts that we kind of started exploring last time when we were walking over to that like um, abandoned church. And then leveling up villagers is just leveling up the, the tool smiths and the, the weapon smiths that I have. And then we can start trading with them some new things. It's like craft Mac put you a hamburger. Oh, the hamburger helper stuff. So pretty balanced. Yeah, pretty balanced. Everyone's like, let's do this. Why are there so many guineas in Africa? There's like 10. Oh, like Papua New Guinea, all of those. This is a close poll. This is so close. <laughs> if you haven't voted, vote. Tell us what you want to do. I'm gonna sleep. Actually, I'm gonna go home. I'm just gonna go home. I love that I can just get into the nether too. So, so nice. Beep. Okay, I'm back. Why are there so many villagers? It seems like every time you go, there's even more. Honestly, I think they are multiplying. It does really seem that way. Oh my, oh, all of my sugar cane. Oh no. R.I.P. to the sugar cane. Ow! You goon? Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Zombie doctor. All right, we're gonna sleep first. Yeah, there's no word bank on the chest. Some sound to fail. Oh no, you just have to know them. Oh, those sometimes are the worst. Do you need the portal anymore if you got the waste stone in the nether? True, I don't. All right, skelly boy, where'd you go? Come and face me. Hmm. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, now I get to show you how these things work. Hello, Fran. Welcome to the real world. Hello, Marsha. You got a name now that you're unzombified. Marsha, hello. Guys, I'm gonna show you my new thing, okay? Watch this. Shift, right click. I've got a Marsha. I've got a Marsha. Hello, just got back from a football match. It was a cup match, one of the oldest cups in the world called a FA Cup. Oh, wow, an FA Cup? That's pretty sweet, Ben. Hope you had a good time. That sounds very cool. All right, guys, what should I do with Marsha? <laughs> I've just got a wild Marsha. I just noticed there's only 73 orcas left. Wow. The 
but that's true mountain i don't need the the portal anymore okay so it looks like i can get the sugarcane to regrow if i just put some torches back That seems like it's working. Did Red just kidnap a villager in the cage? <laughs> we gotta help him. May I don't know what you're talking about, Mount. I don't know what you're talking about. Funny enough, your favorite. Pokemon is Marshmallow. This villager was meant to be caught. Marshadow? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Marsha and Marshadow. But I don't know what uh, what villager Marsha should be. What should she be, guys? Marsha, what do you want to be? What do you want to be, Marsha? There's options. Are you just... Mood. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, so it looks like most people are saying the dungeon staircase, but that's only like 31%. Nether exploring and mineshaft exploring are both at 22%. 25 is le leveling up villagers. So, so far, exploring the dungeon staircase and then leveling up villagers are the two leading. So in my mind, I'm thinking we go explore the dungeon staircase and then we go explore or do some of the uh, leveling up of villagers. So I think I'm going to uh, start going over to do some of the, I'm gonna keep you safe, Marsha, though. I don't want you, I don't want anything getting you, Marsha. It doesn't seem like it's safety, but I promise it's safety. But I think what we're gonna do is based off of the poll answers and which has the highest percentages. I'm gonna go with, we're going to explore the dungeon staircase first, which it is past over here. It's like in this, it's like this thing right here, I'm pretty sure. Or it's this one, it's one of these two. So we're just gonna go here first. And then uh, we'll go explore the dungeon staircase. And then when we're done exploring that, whichever of the uh, next poll options, that's what we'll do next. So we're getting things done, letting the people choose. Red, do you like camping? I actually do like camping. I've done backpacking trips, like full on like weekend where you pack up all of your food and everything into a backpack and you go camping for like full weekends. I've done that in different states. Um, I really enjoy it. I, I actually touch grass. What a concept. Except not in the nether. We don't touch grass in the nether because it, it explodes. It exploded. Oh my goodness, RJ also becoming a member. Thank you so much, RJ, for becoming a tier 2 member and supporting the channel. I much appreciate it. We've got some hype coming in for chat for our friend RJ. Thank you so much, RJ. I truly appreciate it. Love it, love it. Now you get the you get the fun little mushy emotes just like Savea did today. Let's go. How exciting. We'd love to see it. States like tired or <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, just state of, you know, exhaustion. State of just yeah, all all the things. Very fun. But yeah, I, I do enjoy uh, doing uh, camping, uh, hiking, like all of that. I do enjoy being like pretty active, which is very helpful because on for my job, I sit in front of a screen. Um, so I need to definitely make sure I'm like getting, getting out, moving. Um, yeah, it's a fun time. I've slowly been like collecting up enough like really good quality backpacking and camping gear so that I have like a really solid backpack. I've got a solid sleeping bag because I run cold usually. So I need like a, a like very lightweight but down sleeping bag. So I, I do got some things. I also like snowboarding in winter. That's my like winter hobby, I would say. And like going um, like boating or just being on the water, hiking, camping, backpacking are kind of like my summer things. I'm gonna try to go up to this side to get to the place. Also, I like this like very like salsa kind of a song. I'm enjoying this. It's got a good vibe to it in the lo-fi. You're back, you're getting food. Ooh, nice Daisy. What food did you get? 
What's what's the little snacks? What's the snackage? What about getting lost while exploring? Luckily enough, I I haven't gone. Um, I don't really want to go like backpacking or hiking alone. And so the people that I go with are more experienced in using like maps and compasses and things. And they've gone to the specific places before. And then other places will go like they already, oh my gosh, I just remembered. We can, we can keep some, some mushroom cows, some, some little cute sunflower cows. Sorry, I just got one tracked mine with these. Moobloom, you are mine. Ah, oh, yay, you're so cute. Beep. I got Moobloom, Moobloom, and Marsha. <laughs> nice. Moobloom, Moobloom, Marsha. <laughs> uh, so funny. Um, but some of the places we go also just like, there's one trail. And you follow the trail, which helps. Techie issues threw me for a loop. Oh, no worries at all, RJ. Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate it. Oh, also, I don't know if I um I, I announced this in my like March channel update, but if people didn't read that, um I do now have a Patreon open. I, I need to start putting that in my video description and doing a command for it. Um, but I do now have a Patreon open. If you're just like looking at the links from my like channel page, you can find it. But I made a Patreon if people prefer that as a way to support and don't want to do the YouTube route. I figured, you know, people like to do different things. But that was a fun thing. Yeah, I should just make a Patreon um, exclamation. I really should. But I, I don't have a Patreon command. But I should make one, shouldn't I? That would probably be smart. Um... But it's just patreon.com slash red. Like, that's um, the easy way you can locate it. So if you're just checking out the website, you know, you can just patreon.com. I'll remind you after stream. Thank you. Yes, that would be wonderful. Oh, look, he's snowing because it's winter. Oh, this reminds me of my little winter world, doesn't it? Oh, we're going to go for such a pretty little boat ride if the water doesn't freeze up over me. Oh, look at that. It's so nice. You subscribe because you like your videos? Oh, thank you so much, Owen. I appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoy the content. Glad you enjoy the vids. Oh, hey, you caught the stream. Welcome in, Wayward. Hope you've been doing good. Good to see ya. I just realized me uh, removing my hotbar also removes the waypoint. Also, do you like how I'm just starting to leave crafting tables in my world? <laughs> Do you have good posture while you work? <laughs> I, not all the time, dragon. <laughs> I definitely need better posture. Sometimes I'll just be like, oh man, my back hurts. And then I like, actually am all of a sudden cognizant of how I'm sitting and I'm literally sitting like a gremlin shrimp, just totally hunched over. And I'm like, ah, this does check out. <laughs> so um, I, I need to get better at that. I try, um, I have a standing desk, so usually that is something that does help. All right, I have to figure out where this thing is. I think it's this first one. I could be wrong. Too many crafting tables means more crafty jokes. Exactly, there we go. My default sitting position is gremlin shrimp. Yep, literally that that is me. I, I sit like a shrimp. Yeah, this is the one. This is the waypoint. I literally have no idea what's down here, guys. But something's down here. I, I have no idea what it is. Okay, so it's a little spooky. So we're gonna make more sticks and torches. Because I have zero idea what's down in this space here. So, uh, you're gonna experience this for the first time just like me. So, super fun time, yeah. I think I joined the Patreon. Oh, really, Jennifer? Oh, thank you so much. Um, I'll have to check it after. I'm still learning how to use Patreon, so I don't know the like notifications and things. But yeah, I did. Uh, I did make it so that if you join Patreon, you get a fun little like Discord. Um, like you get a special. Ooh! Oh my gosh, I did not want to fall all the way down. Can you imagine? All these all these little vines are just making it difficult, bruh. 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna snip all these vines right now. They are in my way. But thank you so much for becoming a Patreon member. I really appreciate that. Jennifer, thank you, thank you. So so kind. I appreciate you wanting to support me being able to continue making content. It's just you know, you guys becoming YouTube members. Okay, so this seems like it's a zombie one. Oh, hi, you're right there in my face. Good to see ya. Uh, but yeah, just like you guys becoming YouTube members and Patreon members, it's just, you know, giving me- Oh, hi. Yeah, you're burning me too. We don't like this. No, we don't. No, we don't. Not at all. Goodness. Everyone's interrupting me, trying to talk to my chat. Silverfish too, no. Goon, no, no. Why? Stupid things. No, no, not allowed. You stinky little bugs. Why? Why? <laughs> is this a generated structure? It's not very head forgiving. Yeah, I think this is like a a generated structure. Now are you gonna come up? Yeah. Dude, this whole thing is infested. Are you guys noticing this? Bruh, I am trying to talk to my chat. Oh, you're still getting up here, aren't you? I am trying to just chill with my peeps. Well, I guess um, this whole hallway is infested. Super fun. Love that for us. I'm just kidding. Literally just all of this is infested. Are you guys noticing this? Ugh. I don't like. But yeah, you don't have a lot of like headroom in here. This is true. I approve of that statement. All right, are we done? <laughs> are we done? <laughs> no, I hear them. Stinky things. I hear them. So you're one hour ahead of you. You can hear red during the dual world. <laughs> Rebel, you good? <laughs> that, yes, that is what's going to happen. So can I like see which ones are infested? Cause I don't like this. Dude, so many of these were just... Oh, what the heck? Interesting. Oh. Oh, I heard baby zombies. I don't like that. Oh, wait, look. What is this? Ooh. Oh, it was a zombie one. Nice. There's so many zombie spawners in this world, I feel like. Have you guys noticed that too? Hi. Don't mind me, friends. Just kind of coming through. Don't mind me. Just trying to get to your spawner. Don't mind me. Okay, my uh, my very good OP bow skills are not doing me well right now. Okay, um, we got some copper in this little tub place here. That's kind of cool. Also, I feel like this is multiple spawners. I'm just gonna say it. Oh yeah, this is why we tower, guys. We have the stinky. The stinky little kid. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. Wait, where did you get a door? <laughs> Where'd you get the door from, sir? <laughs> Which hallway did you break in from? Well, excuse me? And just for you. Well. Ooh, we got a soul thing. Okay, yeah. Um. Oh no, are these cave spiders? Oh no, guys. Oh no. Uh, the, that, that's a lot of caves, spiders. Oh no. 
He just likes doors. I hate people. He seems that was close. The skelly almost knocked you off. I know. I saw that rebel. I was like, oh, the swarm. Yep. The first time I got hit by a silverfish, I jumped so hard. They're kind of scary. Like, oh, hello. So pretty sure um, this is just cave spiders. Guaranteed. Oh yeah, for sure that's just cave spiders. Also, what on earth is that? Oh, I don't like the look of that. Yep. Nope. No, thank you. Not very interested in that. Also, how do I make sure that those don't get out? I think that room is like completely shut off so they can't get to me, but I also can't tell, right? I can't really tell. Hi. There's a bedroom. Whoa, trippy. Let me just have a moment here to look around. Bone chunks. Some chunks of bone. Was that another soul star thing? Yeah, it's one of the, it's a soul star. So I, th these all kind of help us in the end get to finding some of those uh, very scary um, like bosses at the end that are like a mod added to it. Who's sleeping in there with zombies and cave spiders? Honestly, just nope. Yeah, nope, nope. Like that's a lot of uh, cave spiders. So many cave spiders, so scary. I'm not a fan, I don't like it. But there's things that we could get here. Kinda cool. Pretty neat. You found your secret dungeon. Mountain's been hiding all of them. Hiding all of them. Yeah, I don't know who would wanna sleep down here. It doesn't really seem like the best place to sleep. Books though, we like books and we like candles. I still need to go back to that first crypt and just take all of the candles and same with that zombie dungeon. Just gotta take all of it. Beep. We take those. We take these. We take these. Ooh, candles. We take more candles. I'm also curious like why is this just like, it's kind of interesting. This is wood right there. Mountains innocent, innocent, I tell you. Oh gosh. Hi guys, how's it going? How are ya? Picking up your friend's uh, fleshy flesh? There was a spawner in there. That's why that was like that. Ooh, that's how. Okay. I know how the spiders can get to me, and I don't like it. So I need to block it off. It's over there. I saw it. I saw that there's a way that they can AI track to me. And I hate that so much. So gross. Oh, just look at that. Can I like sneak through here? Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Are you kidding me? Okay, but look at this, right? So this right here is what I need to block off. So when we're down here, right here, we need to block this off ASAP, okay? Because that's just so disgusting. But I need to make sure I have my full health just in case they do get me, right? We just, nope. Nope, 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 and nope. We nope right out of the nope. Maybe there should be a torch on the other side, but like, nope. Nope. Nope, nope. 
and then interesting very interesting don't know what to expect oh guys i need bricks all the time i use bricks so much i'm literally just going to like oh i'm gonna take all the bricks that is actually very exciting for me well i feel like these are kind of some but tax evade never you can't avoid taxes by not touching grass the echo is really cool yeah the echo is so cool one of my favorite echoes is with the uh i just wanted to see is there a disc in here sometimes there's discs but um yeah the the bubble the little bubble thing is so cool with um the echo you know like caves i feel like there's campfires under here i'm not gonna lie but maybe that's just how mod it is i don't know Why are there pressure plates? I don't like that. Is this? This isn't trapped, right? Just in case it's trapped, we're opening it from a distance. Because I have zero idea. <gasps> Three golden apples. I guess I'd need that to take on all the cave spiders, but jeez. Oh, a goat horn! Oh, that's so fun! Okay, we got Ponder. Nice! Look at that. This dungeon is better than the others. I mean, so far we're finding cooler things, so definitely worth the, uh, the trip. Three golden apples, soul star, books, candles. We didn't get a goat horn before, like... This is pretty solid. Granted, I have to see what's in the cave spider spawner. I feel like the, the cave spider place is going to probably have the best stuff because usually the best stuff. <gasps> Gunpowder. Repairman. Wait, repairs all items with mending in a backpack. Wait. Interesting. So if I put repairman on all of my tools and leave them in my backpack and like go somewhere to repair them, is that how that's working? The chest in the lava is trapped. Oh, yeah, that's kind of big explosion. Really CC, oh, really C, okay. That's kind of what I assumed. Let's let's see if we can uh, cheek, ch cheekily uh, get rid of this, shall we? How do I? Okay, that's gone. I like how the pressure plate just survived. So if obsidian, I just want to check. Oh, there's stuff down here. Oh, that's fun. This doesn't seem like it's trapped. Just checked 40 ounces of sweet tea. Ooh, that sounds tasty. So if there's no more Hey, oh, this is iron and granite. That's cool. So this doesn't look like it's trapped, guys. Or do I not understand how trapped chests work? Right? This is fine. Be careful not to allow the anvil to drop. Literally, me just drops it now. <laughs> guys, this is safe now, right? Like, I don't think anything else can spawn. Yeah? We can't get exploded if nothing's under this. Or do I not know how, um, how the little, maybe I should get that uh, villager to be repairman. Do you think that would be a better use of it? Like, I feel like that would be good. I'm a little bit nervous though. Like, I don't want to get got, you know? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. There's a creeper behind me. I don't see any creepers. There's lots of greenery stuff. I lit this up pretty well. Probably could add a few more torches over here though. We do need to figure out how to get rid of these guys. Ooh, hey. Hey, hey. 
Oh my gosh, two goat horns. Let's go. And then even though the chest is there, I'm just putting that back. Dude, this is so many. Ooh, look at they have like glass. That's kind of cool. So here's the thing. There's a chest here and there's a chest in the back. What if we just try to like go around the exterior of the room? Eh? Oh, I also missed this chest completely. Have you got a bow? It was for me, but maybe you're lucky. It was trapped? Oh no, it's easy. Did you ever get to like see what was in it? Like, did you get to look at it at all? No, I'm like nervous that you said it's trapped. All right, I think nothing is down there that will trap it. So I think we Gucci, we good. We're good to go. It is scary, you know, and honestly, I have been definitely way more paranoid in um, modded than I probably would be in just like a normal world just because you just don't know, right? Need some fly spray for those spiders on. Oh, I should have picked it up with the other one. Oh, wait, no, I did get it. Okay. And it looks like there was something down here. So maybe we just check it. This might just be like a cave cave. Cave, 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 cave. Yeah, just cave, 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 any cave. Nothing too crazy, just cave, cave. And then we'll just come up through here. Okay, so guys, we've checked everything else. We just need to get our, our way around to where the spiders are. So I think what I do want to do is try to just like carefully scooch my way around the outside edge and hope for the best honey bottles, books. So I think that's what we're going to do. I want the books. I want string and things. I like the idea of having some nice uh, bookshelves and note blocks. No, I did not see what was in the last chest. It was destroyed, okay. Sometimes, like I can't, sometimes I know if you like have a split second, you see it before you explode. So I wasn't sure if you were able to get that or not, or if it was just fully gone. Cause I know sometimes the traps are just instant and you have zero time to react. But that's good to know because it is very likely that a different place like this I will come across and I will be very um, careful about that. Look at this, we've got some nice copper that's oxidized. Very fancy. Can you build a hopper and put it underneath into a safe chest? That would be another way to do it. You can do that in the the nether as well so you don't get the pigman brutes all mad at you and like the regular piglins mad at you. So that's probably uh, how you could do it for sure. Dude, there's so much granite. I literally was just building with uh, granite today and was just saying how much I like need those resources. So I'm very glad that we uh, officially have some good, some good uh, source of like the um, granite and stuff. Very helpful. All right, I'm gonna leave these in here for now because I can just come back for them. But let's uh, let's put the books in there. All these guys. I don't need vines. Not really that important. All right, so let's try to get around this room here. Where's the wall? So this looks like it's, it's the wall. So then if I just go like this, we'll get rid of the shears. Okay, so that stays. Oh geez, can I even hit you? 
Interesting. I'm at least glad they can't get me. Ah, uh, that's not really that great. I don't really care about killing mobs will spread the skulk, but suspicious stew is kind of curious. We can uh, eat a suspicious stew. Should we see what we get? What kind of sus stew do we think we got? I'm gonna take all of, I'm gonna eat all the way first. You got a copy of Mice and Men amongst the collection of books. Yep, I've got some goodies now. Every time I see your backpack, it feels like you, it always feels like you need a bigger one. I know, it does. I just keep on like using all of the space. <laughs> Gonna have to go for tonight, but I hope the rest of the stream goes well. It was so much fun watching. Can't wait to watch the rest, but later, good night. Good night, every, good night to, uh, m I almost said good night, everyone, f like reading off your message. Good night, Jazzy. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I hope that doing all your homework went well, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh, that's why I was reading zombies still. Night. Yes, the honk shoes. Oh no, not you again. Okay, that's the corner. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Gonna put one there. All right, we're making our way. Making our way around, mining fast. Okay, I really feel like, okay, let me just, I have an idea. So it's hard to see things. Good night, thank you, Red. Thank you, everyone, bye. I see you later, Jazzy, always good to have ya. All right, so here's my, my smart idea, guys, right? So we can't really see where that last chest is, but if we grab some of the iron gates, that will keep us from getting attacked by the, uh, little uh, spiders, but we're able to see. But let's uh, let's see what this little stew is. When the stew is sus? Wait, what is this? Oh, I, it didn't even do anything to me. Spiders, flesh, and we're loop bound. Yeah, spiders, flesh, and we're loop bound. Doodly doodly doo. With just drinking a suspicious sudo gives me an advancement in better Minecraft, noted. Yeah, we just instantly make a, a new song about, um, Luton. Luton. Luton and scooting through these places. But I feel like my idea is pretty smart, right? Like, if we just grab a bunch of these, we can kind of figure out where... We need to grab the last uh, chest from, and then we'll just leave the spiders alone. Dang, that was underwhelming. Yeah, no kidding. Very underwhelming. <laughs> I thought it would do way more than it did. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I really don't like how these are here, though. Oh, redstone. I mean, sure, I suppose. How close am I to being able to just like... Will that stop them? Oh, hi, bud. You struggle in there. There's so many of these spiders, my gosh. Okay, so the other one is over, over there. You know, if I want to make a cave spider spawner, like this would be the place. Hmm. 
Maybe no more, no more will spawn. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave. I checked all of the chests, I'm pretty sure. I checked this one, checked that one, checked that one, nothing's here. I think I call that good. I think I just leave. <laughs> I think I don't care about the other little bits and bobs. So we just head out. Anyone else see the extra row? Which extra row? There's three here, and then I've got five. It didn't even do anything other than the advancement. I know, it didn't give me an effect. I expected an effect. Come on. Anyone else see the extra row of hearts? Oh, these? Wait, I've had three here before. What the? Wait, what is that from? Yeah. You're right, there's this over here. I've had three there before. I thought it was like some other mod that I haven't unlocked yet, but I've definitely have had three here. Interesting. I thought the copper was a diamond for a sec because my screen glitched. I couldn't see the orange part. Oh, that would be so nice if I just had some solid, just diamond blocks. That would be wonderful. We have just found a diamond block before. But yeah, okay. I don't think there's anything else I need from here, so I would call this place looted. Nothing really in there. And now I know that I can get all the granite my heart desires. Granite, brick, all the goodies. I'm excited actually. Like I'm actually very excited for it, it's kind of funny. Um, I don't think there was any other rooms. There was a big scary thing and then all of these. This is that room I just made. Whoa, wait, hang on. Do you see this, guys? How do we get down there? Hello? What are you? How do I get in this thing? Modern Grime Minecraft is so pretty. It really is, Skylar. Welcome back, Gabriella. Okay. Do we? Just don't take it for granted. Ah, ha, ha, ha. She got him. Got him good. I love it. So funny. Love it, love it. Bum, 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 bum. All right. That, um, yeah, this looks interesting. <laughs> Mountains like the puns. I can't handle the puns. Okay, so now I'm kind of curious what this is. I want to figure out how to get in here. So if I just waystone mark this, I think, guys, do we want to do this next? We're just having a good old time. We're leaving Spiderville and we're, we're heading out. We're leaving town. The, the stair, ooh, the staircase is tight. You gotta scooch slowly. There's also so many holes after having all of those little silverfish. Uh, oh gosh. Okay. Ooh, it is dark. It is night. Literally, I can't believe that only drinking the stew doesn't really do that much. I'm still a little sad about that. Not gonna lie. Ooh, baddies, baddies everywhere. Let's just take a moment. Let's just take a little little pause. Ooh, wait, look at these. This is pretty. An icicle, cute. All right, so what did I just map out? I X'd it, so it's underneath the ground here. So there's a secret way to get down here, guys. What shaders do I have? I have on complimentary shaders. Complimentary shaders. All right, let's see what this waypoint is. Oh, the ants are out and about. Look at you in your shiny hat, keeping you safe. Well, speaking of, I can get rid of this shiny hat. Interesting. So how did they, how do you get into this place?
Guys, there has to be a way in. Where's the sneaky way in? Oh, <gasps> whoa. Hello? Do you sting me? Okay. That That's my answer. You sting me. Ow. Okay. I don't know why. I just thought that maybe that wouldn't happen. Not exactly sure why. I just went for that. But he's cute. They hurt, but he's cute. Oh, looky here, guys. What is this? Wait, look at all these dudes. Look at this little octopusy dude. Look how cute he is. Oh, it's like a cuttlefish. But guys, what is this? This is part of our way in. I guess we're going in the water, yeah? Wait, did I get slime from that? Hello? Guys, I think we're going in the water. Ho oh, ho ho. To get in, you do... We dig straight down. Oh man, oh man, I don't think we can do it. Enjoying the adventures while you start cooking dinner. Ooh, pan-fried tofu and veggies and rice. That sounds tasty and very healthy. So that sounds wonderful. Hope you enjoy making your foods and um, just vibing. We're just exploring, you know, finding the things, having a good old time. I'm gonna make a door. Just for the sake of having some breathing. We like to breathe, you know, it's helpful. You stepped on a jellyfish. <gasps> IRL, but I didn't get stunned luckily. Really? Oh, that's super lucky. I thought that was like a no, like, there's no other like option. Like if you find a jellyfish, you get stung. So that's, that's great news that you didn't get stung by it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in. I don't know where we're in. A sea cucumber, you're so cute. I'm not exactly sure where we are. Uh, is this like flooded? Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have brought these all my doors. Is this seriously like underwater? Oh my gosh, there's literally little dudes just living their best life. It's a hermit crab, oh my gosh. Okay, it's not all completely, okay. What is this place? That looks like a creeper. Literally, what is this place? Hi little hermit crab, hello buddy. Can I fix this water issue? There's a leak in the ceiling. Would you like me to fix it? Oh, okay. We're dealing with source blocks, aren't we? Okay, we just, uh, we just leave that. I'm just kidding, I don't wanna leave it. I wanna do something about it. <laughs> All right, well, um, I'm gonna just block this off. Are you going in, hermit crab? Okay, literally I should've just closed it off and left it that way, but no, I was just like, we'll try to fix it. I'm gonna just block you in there for now, little dude. Oh gosh. Nope. Okay. Noted. Spooky things. Psh. Uh. Jail cells? Hello? Okay, if that doesn't scream I'm trapped, I don't know what does. Also, um, I think. Most everything in here is a cave spider. This is interesting. Nope, right out of there. Yeah, I saw that thing. I was like, uh-uh. I don't play with cave spiders. No, thank you. Ah, uh, 
don't play with cave spiders. That's my motto. Okay, nothing. Why do they have hallways with creepers? This is kind of sp spooky. Interesting. Very curious. Okay, whose secret dungeon is this? Mountain, isn't this yours? Isn't isn't this your one? I thought the I thought we were just exploring yours, right? You were okay with us just popping in for a visit, right? They give us stone. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I'll I'll take the gunpowder and other stuff that we're finding. Curious. Very curious. I don't know what that sound was, but I didn't like that. Why did I get blindness? Why do I have, why do I have blindness? Oh my gosh, there's an illusioner, are you kidding me? Are you, oh my word, chaos, 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 chaos. Woo, okay. Yep, you got me, illusioner, holy moly. Stupid dudes, are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. How rude. They came out of literally nowhere. There's, so there's four of them? Chaos, chaos, chaos. <laughs> I didn't die. Yes, true, Spaya. I survived. I boxed myself into my safety box and we just, we, we survived. Oh, uh, now I want to kill those things, though. I want to get rid of them. That spooked me so bad. Holy moly. So there's two of them. What are they? Are they illusioners? That's your younger cousin. What? Fred didn't expose me. Yeah, right. Younger cousin, right. Uh-huh, sure. Time check, 15 minutes. Oh, thank you. Okay. Where did they go? Do they go invisible? I see you coming for me. No, thank you. Wait, what did I get? Kill the illusioner. <gasps> Wait, I got the dude. I got the correct dude. Did I get anything? Illusionary dust. Oh, wait, hold up. Box myself in again. Look at this. Totem of illusion? What does this even do? Trinket slots? What does this do, guys? You invaded my dungeon. He's your problem. You know, fair enough. It was too calm. Yeah. On top of that, they sound like wandering traders. That's so true. That is so deceitful. Illusionary dust, aka, yeah, Houdini pockets in. Yeah, pretty much. What can I do with the, the illusionary? Illu... Illager invasion. We'll try that. Okay, so the illusioner dust. If I click on it. Hello. Unusual dust. Magical fire charge. Illusionary dust. I want to know what this totem of illusion does. Eat the illusion dust. You know, I, I have a feeling I, I, that's not going to go over very well. I got an emerald. I got some illusion or dust. I got an experience little little bloop. Little little bing. And this. I don't know what the totem of illusion does. So I don't really want to like use it. Like I don't know if I just like it multiplies my character. 
You know, I'm not really sure, but there's two more at least. And there's pillagers in here. There's a pillager down here, so that's important to note. Whew, that, that was spooky. Max XP level, just leveling up. Dude, look at my spam of blocks here. My gosh. We was really uh, concerned. We were just going for it. Okay, I do really want to know what's in this. Okay, you were a fake one. Okay, so there's another one down this hallway. I just want to like get rid of it. I think I killed the illusioner, so this is just gonna be a fake dude. Guaranteed. This is my guess. I could be wrong. But there's also like, he's in like an open area. Are you noticing that? Like this is like an open area. I hears you. Want to come out and say hello? I don't really want you to, but like, I, I don't want you to be around anymore. But thank you for the time check. I appreciate it. It's like inside all these different spots. So I think it's just the a fake one. Kind of Roman. Roman. Oh. Okay. It's nothing. There's like some nice chests in here. Interesting. There's just so much cobblestone. Like, what do they want you to do with this? I knew that nickname would stick. Thanks, Red. Yep. Mountain. <laughs> it, it's a thing. It's official. Canon nickname. Where's the other dude though? He's like in the cave. But my little green goblin friend, I I saw them somewhere in here. <gasps> I hear you, buddy. Where's my buddy? Buddy? Um, buddy? 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 This doesn't seem safe. Buddy? Buddy? Oh. That's... I see. I'm pretty sure this is a fake one. Bruh. Yeah, it's a fake one. That means I actually killed the right one, which is good. Don't need to worry about the illusioner anymore freaking me out. That was terrifying. Okay, so. This little room. We can check this thing. So there's just lots of, like, cobblestone. It's very interesting place here we got, guys. Very strange. You're sitting in the dining room. <laughs> Why is the illusion one? Th Why is the illusion one thousand though? Um, that's a good question. I'm not really sure. Right, I checked what totem of illusion. 
I checked when Totem of Illusion does is that if you get hit by a mob, it creates multiple use. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. But if it's a totem, does that mean it's like a one-time use? Or if I start using it, do it will it just give me like multiples? Fun. Nope. I was gonna like try to go down there because I thought there was some uh, pillagers I could go for, but I don't wanna go mess with some cave spiders. Sounds like a one-time use, like a totem of unaliving. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking it would be. Actually, while we've got this, Now, when um, C was talking about just like chests exploding, this straight up just looks like chests are gonna explode, right? Like this looks like somewhere, some place, there's an observer that's going to explode. That's like, why else would there be beautiful things just chilling in the middle? Like, does this chandelier just come down, you know? Like, what is. What is going on here? Why is this just in the middle? Like, is the illusioner supposed to just come out of nowhere? Is that the whole thing? Like, what is up with this? Oh my gosh, we got a god apple. Hey yo. Maybe it was just like the illusioner was gonna like trick us into here. Looted. Ooh, uh, looted. Loot dropped from a m killing a mob is placed directly in the backpack. I'll take that one. Yes, please. All right, gunpowder. I guess I can like, you know, grab the, the gold while we're standing far away, just thinking that things are gonna hurt us. <laughs> but that, that's not too shabby. It's just to get out of a sticky situation. Mm, sure, sure. Not really used because you can't, because uh, anyone can hit you unexpectedly like a zombie. True, yeah. No cave spiders. Sada's like, just, just no, just skip it. Like, not, not worth it. <laughs> Man, but okay, we're getting some good finds in this place. Look at, we've got like all of these little goodies and things just from this one place and um, this other one. But okay, now that I feel a little bit safer, let's go check out these um, hallways with these like dungeons. Time check, thank you for the time check, I appreciate it. It's gonna implode any moment. Oh my gosh, can you imagine, Zester? That'd be awful. Oh wow, looted, funneling. Funnels drops from mining or harvesting certain resources into backpack, looted and Curse of Vanishing. Interesting uh, options, to say the least. Ooh. Oh my gosh, there's like good stuff in this place. I'll take apple pulls. I will gladly take some apple pulls. We can make more golden apples for our little friends when we save them. Repairman projectile, not bad. Unbreaking two, okay, I'm bad. Well, this is pretty nice. I'll take these candles. Thank you very much. And I'll leave you with a torch. No one's living here, but I don't want mobs. And we already checked that. So let's go back to the beginning because there was one other hallway spot. This didn't seem like there was anything down there. So we'll just skip that. Your treasures, we're taking them all. <laughs> Edwards, hello, how's it going? And welcome in um, Ira Geis. Welcome, welcome. Whew, okay, this was the other side of me being panicked by the illusioners. I've never come across illusioners, guys. That was the first time I have ever experienced an illusioner. So you got to experience Red's raw thoughts and just moving quickly and spamming blocks to escape. Uh, yep, I, never, never seen them. Never, ever dealt with them before. 
They spooky, that's for sure. And there was, wasn't there still some more? Yeah, there was some right in here. Nice, okay, we'll get rid of these. I don't need that. Iron is always nice, so we'll just add those into here. We'll convert the gold into just gold. Oh, my poor little gold helmet is just dying. I should put my other one back on. I took on an illusioner without my proper helmet. Funneling. Oh, looting one. I mean, uh, is that like worth it? Like my sword's pretty good. Hey, Yan, welcome on in. Oh my god, Red, your prep kits are so full. I know, we need to go back. We need to go back home and drop things off. You're just stealing from their home, pretty much. Well, no one's no one's here anymore, though. I don't see no one. I just see, you know, skeletons and, like, people are just gone. So really, you know, no, nothing's really around. But it's kind of fun to know that we, uh, we got this place all looted. Pretty neat. It's always interesting to, like, see what's underground. Like, there's another crypt thing. Hello? And there's this giant thing. Hello? What's this giant brick box looking thing? There's like, what is, you know, like there's so many things to explore. It's so fun. But uh, it is time to leave. We're gonna go back home. So we're gonna go, we're gonna let, a, let the water come back through here. Oh, look it, it's a sea urchin. How cute. Okay, and up and out we go. Whoa, what are you? A barrel eye. Dude, you're kind of sweet. I feel like you're uh, a little too far up, though. Like, usually those guys are um, way, way further deeper in the water, you know? All right, we got goods. We're, we're going home. I'm excited. We got the goods, and now we go home, yeah. Well, that was a fun little adventure. Didn't really expect to do that today, but I did want to look down in that uh, first one for a bit now, and we definitely got some goodies out of it, so that's fun. You're back, welcome back. Wait, did you see the grave digging VOD? Uh, yeah, definitely didn't grave dig pretty much all last stream. Definitely didn't. Actually didn't grave dig the past two streams. Definitely won't find any of that in the VOD. Nope, nope, yep. <laughs> Nobody home, permission to take stuff, got it. Okay, okay, you're telling me that when you see a village in Minecraft, you just leave stuff? So if you come across a blacksmith, little village, little villager, and there's diamonds in there, you're like, oh, the villager needs the diamonds. I'm just gonna leave these four diamonds and this iron chest plate. I'm just gonna leave it. They need to protect themselves from zombies. Yeah? You're, you're leaving? <laughs> it is really funny though. Like, just the fact that it's like, we just like go into the game and we're like, mmm, this stuff's mine now. <laughs> it is funny. I'm totally innocent. I never take anything. Okay, Rebel. I expect you to hold to that word when we're in hardcore and we go raiding certain locations. Uh-huh. I'll be watching. I'll be waiting. Hi, Boyd. Hello. You grave dug last year, but must have missed it by a bit. Yes. We, well... We were just, yeah, I mean, the zombie catacombs didn't have as many graves to dig. The stream before that, like the hamster. It's the little cube hamster. You're so cute. <laughs> it's the potato hamster. That's what I think they look like. They look like a potato. They're cute though. Cute potato boys. Doesn't count. Oh yeah, that doesn't count. That sounds like a very subjective response to uh, what things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, until you have a raid. Yeah, honestly. Then uh, then that'll be interesting. The villagers totally need them, man. <laughs> they totally need them. <laughs> They're gonna use them. They're gonna make a pick. You just need to level them up so they can, you know, have the picks. Also, I just remembered we still have Marsha in our backpack. 
Red is on snarky fire right now. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, Y'all be acting like you don't raid villages too and just take the stuff if you see the stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't take the golden apples or the god apples. The diamond armor from ancient cities. Mm -hmm. Sassy red. I don't know if it's sassy or blue. Ooh, almost just yeeted myself down there and there. I don't know if it's sassy or sarcastic. You know, it's one of the two. Just being a little silly, you know. Poking some fun. Yeet. I almost did not make that. And that would have been a bummer. Because I would have talked to that zombie down there. That would have seen me. How did Nether go? It went good. We, uh, we didn't die. We got a few blaze rods and I set up a waystone in the nether that connects directly to our waystone. So I can just, you know, go up to my waystone and then just click on the, the fortress, go right to the blaze spawner, grab a few more. The only problem is the fortress we found, the, uh, where the blaze spawner is, it's completely open. Like it's not encased at all. So that's one thing we'll have to end up figuring out how to do is just make it. Oh, hello, dear. Hello, dear. I know it's like, it's a literal deer, but you know how some people are like, oh, hello, honey, hello, sweetie, hello, dear. Like me saying hello, dear to the deer. Hello, dear, dear. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but it went good. Be a little goofy, exactly. But this is our portal, but uh, we don't really need the portal anymore just because we have the waystone, but it is a little spooky. Um, I can go in there, I'm still wearing my helmet. So I will I will show, for those of you that missed the nether bit, I will quickly show you. You spooked the deer, oh dear, exactly. So I'm gonna go in my box, but this is what the modded nether looks like. This is our spawn. I made myself a box right away. As soon as we were in here, we saw a flying pig. It was a pig that was a bat. Oh, and that. What is that? What is that? There's two of them. So yeah, those things. Not sure. Um, nether jellyfish. Please no one kill me for that pun. <laughs> Oh dear. I love me a pun. But yeah, so this is the nether. Um, right next to our spawn, there's this terrifying place that has... It looks like I'd probably get good loot out of it, but these are two hoglin uh, spawners. And inside here, there's some um, not so great um, like wither skeleton ones. There's magma cube ones there's wither skelly ones so it's a it's a good time just just the best of times yep nothing spooky at all and then over here yeah these are more wither yep so i think this definitely looks the prettiest over here with all the like blue it's just so pretty. I love it. Like, this is such a vibe. It's so, like, fantasy. Very fun time. Just the funnest time. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh says she calls me, oh dear. Oh, sure, yeah. He amounted the must pun. Yeah, we love a good pun here. I'm all about the puns. Okay. 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 I have not seen a ghast here, but I guess this is my sign to uh, do that. So yeah, this is uh, my nether. That's something we'll explore. A little too scared to do it now. We'll just leave it be. Um, I do want to block this off too, because I don't want ghasts seeing me. But I want to... Actually, this needs to be higher. Then we'll be safe. Truly safe. Yeah. No one can peep over these and see me. We're good. But yeah, so that's our nether spawn. Super fun. But won't you get punished for the whole puns? Mm. Oh, wow. You, you, it went through. My goodness. 
haven't seen that. Never punished for the puns. The puns are the best. <laughs> this was the first stream I caught. It was fun. Oh, I'm so glad that you enjoyed it, Claire. I appreciate your little tidbits of knowledge on the, the better Minecraft. I have, this is my first time playing through it. So it's still a lot of learning for me, but I'm, I really enjoying it. It's a really fun time. So we've got some nether seeds now, which is kind of fun. Cobble, glowstone pile, so tiny little bits of it, which is interesting. But yeah, now we got some goodies. We've got a totem of illusion. We got a god apple. We've got two moo blooms, which let's put the moo blooms out and then we'll wrap up. Oh, and you know what? We're, we're gonna make a baby. We're gonna make a baby moo bloom. It has to be done. Must be done. Then we're gonna be done. But I want moo blooms in my area. Just wait until you get to the end. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm scared, but I'm excited. All right, shift, shift. Hello guys. Do you like some wheat? It's a baby. Hello, little one. Hi guys. I also like how the small ones don't yet have the flowers on their back. Like they have to grow up to get them. But now we have moo blooms. Life is good. Okay. We're gonna go inside where it's safe and then we're gonna wrap up because it is past time by like 10 minutes. So I appreciate the time checks. You got a warden, Zach? You got it? That's so exciting. Congrats. The baby moo boom. You died a lot, oof. Yeah, you know, that is fair. I feel like wardens are just the worst. Your dog is being really funny right now. She's laying on the couch with her legs hanging off and drooling. Oh my gosh, that sounds, dogs are just so derpy sometimes and I love it. They're just the best. That sounds like a very relaxed doggo. So more puns for next stream. Exactly, we love the puns. Yeah, Zach, I don't know if you're in our community discord, but we have like a Minecraft, uh, like show and tell uh, channel and you can post things in there once you're like getting all your animals collected, but that's super fun. But guys, thanks for uh, hanging out. Huh? We want more puns. Yeah, it's a moor. We want more puns. Yes, indeed. Such a cutie. Moo blooms are just the best. <laughs> My dog got a new stuffed animal and she went to the couch. Oh no. Stuffed animal, just the, the, the thing stuck, just there forever. That's hilarious. But guys, thanks for uh, hanging out with me. I guess I could have ended this poll a while ago. Um, we didn't get to nether exploring, but we definitely can do that next time if we're feeling it. Uh, if you have not left a like on the stream, please make sure you do so for the people that are still here, but I appreciate it. I hope uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I appreciate you guys just hanging out with me. I didn't die. Guys, we went to the modded nether and we stayed alive. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm, uh, it's time for me to go to snooze. I'm gonna go sleep. It is 8, 10 p.m. for me. So it's time for me to go to snooze. And yeah, thanks for hanging out. Have a great week, Red, and enjoy your chill time in March. Thank you, Spay, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm super excited. I have like two, three different trips that I'm going on to spend time with friends and family. I'm very excited, but thanks for hanging out with stream guys. Um, some of the Tuesdays I will be out of town because of my trips. So I'll just update the discord and my YouTube community page about those, but we'll just uh, plan to keep doing the usual Tuesday streams. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. A good honk shoe. Jamal, good to see ya. Hope you have a good rest of your day as well. But yeah, guys, thank you for hanging out. Mods, thank you Archie and Rebel and Sada for modding. Jennifer, Zach, Dragon, Jamal, Encrypted, Wayward, Edward, Zester, Ali, Simi, Eliza, Kim. Thank you guys all for vibing and hanging out. Bendy as well. Thank you, thank you for stopping in. And Ben, thanks uh, everyone for vibing. Zach, congratulations on getting the, the warden again. And yeah, hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next stream.